Hey heroes, Galaxy's Edge presents James M. Ward's Crimson Hawk Adventures. I've seen that intro a bunch of times, and it still gives me the willies. I love it. <laughs> I um, love it, too. Yeah. It, it might be a different day, but we're still sci-fi writers playing old-school D&D. It's that time. It's that channel. We're on Twitch. We're live a day ahead, but that's just because we had this crazy holiday, and uh, we're going to take advantage of it and play some D&D. Um, we have our show frontrunner, Prometheus, being played by the indomitable Nick Cole. I am so happy to be here. Happy last day of the worst year of everybody's lives. <laughs> only hope that uh, if uh, next year is uh, twice as bad, that you embra- embrace the suck and expend as much ammo on behalf of freedom as you can. <laughs> oh, my. It would be greatly appreciated. Oh, God. Uh, Captain Kilgosha on the chat is saying, Dear Lord, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It really is. Speaking of <laughs> over, uh, we have uh, sounding slightly different because um, a, uh, a bugbear might have eaten his microphone. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> Lance Scorpio being played by JR. Good afternoon. So uh, your dog has been setting off mine, so if I'm on mute and I forget, <laughs> just laugh at me and tell me. Right on. Uh Playing uh, the soon-to-be Grandmaster Monk, Levi. We have Michael Rothman. Howdy, howdy. I'm prepared for 2021, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you, you already have a mag loaded? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just the one. Just the one. Uh, uh, yeah, the only one I'll admit to with the taxes going. Yeah, really. That's all he'll need, really. Mm-hmm. I have a lake next to me. There is the, yeah. uh, the uh, aforementioned boating accident. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Speaking of <laughs> speaking of uh, not boating accidents, uh, we have Orlando being played by CJ Carella. Greetings and salutations, everyone. He, you you have the people. greatest in- intro, and I love your accent. It's, I could listen to you read a laundry list. <laughs> he says accent? What accent? Yeah, yeah. you guys have the accent. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really. like everybody else in Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then we have, uh, of course, our uh, heavy artillery, Word of Phoenix, being played by Andrew Scott. Happy holidays, everybody! Who is going to uh, read our recap right after we mention that we're probably going to get mollywomped by holiday DM James M. Ward? How are you, sir? Bum 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 bum. I'm fine and good, and there are millions of giants standing in rows waiting to attack. And he's hey. still legendary. Um, uh, the only thing I can say to that is like a frightened turtle. Uh, we're going to take it away. Heaven is a place I know. For the holiday special, it was the Lake of Heaven where the doom seekers were commanded to go. Once there was plenty, now no good remained. A prosperous lake town, its resources terribly constrained. A lightning storm came, fish, oysters, restorative waters drained. The doom seekers arrived. We need a few good men, bellowed Chrome. The townsfolk just sighed. But one hearty soul a boat made ready. Through the foul waters, doomseekers moved forward, drawn chanting, steady boys, steady. In the first channel we slotted, three towers spied, yet pistol pack and goblins left us besotted. We weren't having any, be of good cheer, it's almost Christmas. Fog too dense to see, though required something more. Princess Ariel's light bridge shined bright as doomseekers raced to war. Waverns attempted to bring us low. Wordna was ready, great hammer hath, gave them the heave ho. Once we anchored on Tower True, a quick break is found, much to be desired, a strange dark gunpowder brew. Treasures abounded in this tower, golden dwarf skulls, cannonballs, guns, guns, guns. In the end, our necromancer charmed the chief, grabbed the loot, raised the chain, deciding, to abscond with their tower, spell jamming it away like a thief. Wow, you are just getting better and better, buddy. That was wonderful. I feel like we should all be snapping our fingers in a <laughs> I know, I know. 
Thank you, Andrew. James, go ahead and ruin everybody's day. Okay, we are in the middle of Giant Wars. Our fans giant asked for wars? Did you say giant, giant Wars, giant wars W A R S. Not whores. Okay. Not whores. No. Our fans asked for a little bit of storyline. So I, I complied because we really love every single one of our fans. And now we're deep into a storyline that I hope doesn't get everybody killed several times in the next year. So we have giants. We have giants everywhere. And uh, Crimson Hawk is abuzz with rumors because all of the plentiful deer and all of the plentiful bisons and buffalo are gone. There aren't any to be had anywhere. And the, uh, the white wizard sent a note down to you guys' castle because for some reason he really likes you guys. And he says that uh, you will be attacked um, within the next two moons by large bands of giants. So you have something that you need to prepare for that. And I need to do this. Come on. Okay, very good. All right, so um, we are ready to go. You have to tell me as usual where you want to go and I will be happy to take you there. Well, if everyone is in agreement, I think we're going to return to uh, back to the beach action and make our way to the rest of the towers. Um, Jim, I, for one, am not carrying any firearms uh, since you asked that question to the live chat. Uh, I consider myself a firearm. So. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, and I have to ask that question for, like, when you accidentally start spilling fire all over the place, you know, a couple like like that weapon that uh, that Andrew gives you that uh, that bursts into flames, that will affect what your pistols do to you. So we'll just have to see what happens. So are we are we going the fifty miles back to uh, Heaven Lake? No, we've got an easier form of transportation now. Um, okay. Are you guys up for uh, returning that? Is everyone comfortable with that? Sure. Okay. Now that we can shoot back, yep. <laughs> Prometheus is not carrying any firearms because these are too slow for him. Ah, yes, they only do two d six too. So he's used to uh, full auto magazines. <laughs> I have a crossbow he's that does done. that. Yeah, really, exactly. Okay, so how are we getting there, Andrew? Um, Jim, we're going to use uh, my Mount Minor helm and stick it on one of our wagons, and uh, I'll have Mount spell cast so that I can uh, summon an ethereal mount, and we'll just uh, jam our way across the open terrain. You'll spell jam over there. That's an interesting idea. Okay, so as you get in the wagon, mm -hmm. and that would be, let's see, I got to do a random here. Can we mount cannons on the wagon? You don't have cannons. We have Wordna. He can just he, stick he, his he, arm out both sides. He's got cannonballs. He gave us cannonballs. I yes. have 350 of those. Uh, Dron, I need you to save uh, against magic. Uh, that's not a hard thing. Oh, I get to use my skull splitter dice and hopefully and, not uh, kill a pet in the everybody's process. Everybody's glad that uh, Orlando, otherwise known as CJ, is back in the chat. Okay. And why <laughs> why are they called skull splitter? Um. Well, probably because they have like Viking logos on them, but they're they're like metal, like heavy. Oh, metal! metal there like, we go. Yeah, like like if I, yeah, these things are nasty. Uh, but yes, this I did. Is... I did save. Shouldn't they be a, a shouldn't, shouldn't they be a sponsor of ours? I'm working well, on not, that. Well, now that Paladin Dice isn't because he's cheating on them. <laughs> <laughs> but I think okay, I think so. I'm gonna have get, to take a uh, uh, a wrist rocket and fire this D20 at like a stop sign and see if it'll go through. Just be just to see what happens. Just to see yeah. what happens. All right, go ahead. Um, you as you save, you get the image of this very ugly sneering giantess that's looking straight into your eyes and irritated that her spell didn't work, and then it, then it's done. So kind of like her image came up on my cell phone that said spam. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Could, couldn't I, have said that better myself. I let everybody know that uh, there is a giantess trying to reach us about our car's extended warranty. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, so we're all hopping in the wagon. Um, are we taking any of Lance's fantastic troops? No, we are, we are not. They they are busy training 
uh-huh, uh-huh. learning how to secure the castle and guard the rounds around grounds around it and respond to battle positions and emergency situations. Okay. Now the five uh, wolfoids would really like to go with dad. No room in the wagon. No room in the wagon. Next time, junior. Next time. They kind of whine. They kind of whine and complain. You don't love us very much. Can I take my shield maiden? Well, if you can't take the wolfoids, you can't take the shield maiden. Did you just say wolfoids? I did, because that's what they are. Yikes. Um, I'm, taking, I'm taking my shield maiden anyways. Okay. Then uh, the wolfoids want to come. Screw them. I'm going to uh, uh, look at Drawn and say, uh, would you mind if I took a look? Look at what? I'm asking Drawn. You're on mute, by the way, buddy. Uh, look at my skull? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just don't look at my browser history. <laughs> it, it's, it's all good. It's all oh, good. Wow. We're in, we're in a, got other places to be. We're in a, might be a eunuch anyway. We're not really sure. We don't know if we're in a, can get a date. Oh, um, my God. Uh, put my hands together and take out Glimmer, if I will, Gems. Okay. I'm going to take a look uh, after saying, uh, trust in me. Just trust in me, and I'll ESP on old drawn and get a look at the face. Okay, so Andrew, Andrew, first off, Andrew, you have to explain the '80s reference and the spell you just used. <laughs> <laughs> so the reference is the '60s reference. It was Winnie the Pooh. Um, oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, trust in me is uh, uh, the snake uh, um, from uh, Aladdin, uh... the old one. Um, not Lion King, way before. Oh, that. Uh, uh, Jungle, Jungle Book. Book. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. So I think that's a 60s or 70s movie. Um, a little bit of a party foul. You're an 80s wizard. And so uh, no, yeah, actually, yeah, really. we, will, we will accept, but we need to get a modification there. You know? okay, so, Chad is saying it's Ka from the Jungle Book, and they're also mocking me for leaving the, uh, the Wolfoids. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Yes. So here's the deal. Um, all of you, except for Weirdner, Weirdner's concentrating on, on the cleric and, and thinking what he's seeing. Weirdner starts turning a little bit see-through and this odd, horrible sulfur smell comes from his body. So now let's go in order here and let's start with Lance. What do you want to do about that? It's from Wordna, so it is of him. We're used to strangeness from him. So yeah, you're, ne- okay. you're never used to a sulfur smell. And while you've seen him go wrath form, this is totally different. I would but say I know they've been st- wrath uh, is a salad bar at soup plantation. Uh, yeah, okay, great, great, great. It's, not, is the, yeah. it's not your turn, young man. <laughs> I, I think I will hold what I've got because I'm used to weirdness from him, and I know they got the strange powder that makes weird noises. So okay. Holding, holding you what you've got, Jared, didn't that get you in trouble at the post office one time? <laughs> it, it did, but, you know, we, we try not to talk about that. NDAs were signed. It was, it was a thing. Yeah, really. Okay, Crom? Um, I'm going to ask Fever what the hell is going on, using her wisdom gem and her artifact-like powers and her understanding of all these things. Dang it. She's pretty good, too. Roll me a 10-sided die. On a six or higher, she knows exactly what's happening. Well, of course, my dice, Paladin dice, prove fruitful and give me a five. Just like always. Yeah. Takes us to draw on the cleric. Um, spell magic. Okay, dang it. Okay, he he appears back as normal, but his ESP has been destroyed. Uh, yeah, I only needed it for the look. So now that he showed me the image, I'm just gonna scry. Okay, and you've you've oh, you're gonna try to scry. You've been you know you've been uh, attacked by a spell. Um, okay. I uh, ask him, tacos? It was a weird <laughs> smell. It, it's, it's definitely, um, we, we definitely uh, are crossing the border here with some Taco Bell. All right, let's see what we got. Um, Knight of Barsoom says, deploy the Karen. <laughs> um, I'll uh, globe up, Jim, and... Uh, okay, and- okay globe of invulnerability around us. Okay, and as you toss that spell, it vanishes. Are these cleric spells or magic user spells? Wizard. Magic user. I'm a magic user. 
These are uh, now. He, Gary didn't like the term magic user. He didn't like saying that. He said Gary is an undead minotaur in the bottom of my castle. <laughs> 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 yeah. When his kids show up to play this game, we will reference him differently. Okay, Until very they, good. Yeah. Gary, guard the stairs. <laughs> he, might, he might be down there right now. He might. He's there in spirit if he's there and nothing else. Um, so this thing is dispelling sick. Well, wait a minute. How does the global vulnerability? So there's only two spells that work against it. Can I tell which one was used? Okay, that you know of, Andrew. I see. Very good. The great thing would be if the next time we run into Gary, he's actually running a D and D game with the Giants. <laughs> no, no, he would he would be doing humans and uh, uh, humans and hamburger or some game like that or yeah. something like that. Yes. Okay, so that takes us to Levi. You doing uh, anything right now? I'm just going invisible like normal. Okay, just and keep, keeping keeping watch. Son of a gun, you didn't go invisible. My mental ability to go invisible didn't work. Didn't work. And that takes us to Orlando. I will do nothing. Okay, very good. What does Spellcraft tell us is happening? Um, somebody is throwing spells at you, and you think it's from a tremendous distance. You think maybe you have something on your bodies or something in the area that that the, the spellcaster is able to lock in on to deal with you guys. Could I ask Fever what the nature of that is? He doesn't have the slightest idea. Or she Fever? doesn't have the slightest idea. She'd really like to know. Okay. It bothers her because you're probably next, she says. Uh -oh. um, clerics, can one of you cast Augury and Augur this to see if we can narrow down what it is? I got you. I wish. <laughs> Did you just say I wish? <laughs> yeah. I, I cast Augury. Okay, start asking the questions, John. Uh, Wardner can ask. I'll repeat. Okay, that's fine. Um, is the object of possession that uh, came from the tower we had just entered? Yes. Okay. Well, I have no possessions from there, so they can't center on me. Um, hmm. Now, that you're making an assumption there, young man. Oh, that's true. We're wondering. Uh, I'm wondering if it's the guns. Right. right. Or the I'm gem. Looking, I was. I was thinking initially guns or or powder. Those are. Uh, is is it one of the firearms uh, currently carried by several members? Okay, so that question is, is it one of the firearms? And the answer is no. Is it all of the firearms? Um, is it the munition powder used by the weapons? No. Hmm. Uh, all right. that's, three, that's three questions. All right, he's got seven, I think. Dang um, it. Uh, is, it, <laughs> is it the combination of the weaponry uh, re um, retrieved? Yes. Okay, so that's the thought. It probably, it probably wasn't just the one weapon. It was all of them. You know, throw, the, or, throw the guns over. <laughs> throw them over? They're gigantically valuable. Um, is, the, is the caster a giant? Yes. Jim, I made a specific thing that I wasn't carrying a gun. Right, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I'm with you. Can you spell magic on the weapons? No, it's it's so depending on how the spell is being tracked. There's a low jack on each one of these things. Right. <laughs> yeah. Giant magic. Could you hide him in? It's not following. Could you hide him in Liam? Go ahead. Could you hide him in Liam? Could you hide him in Liam in tiny hut? Yeah, that's definitely ethro. It's not here for sure. It's not here. Um, are there other objects that are being uh, centered on by the Yes. Team? Yes. What else does there, anyone have? Might be your black gem, Chrome. Uh, is it the black gem? No. No. Mm. How many more questions you got left? One? One. Twelve. Uh, uh, Twelve. Is, it, is it our tower? No. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for a boating accident for all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crypto uh, anti Second Amendment, you know, module we're playing. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'm very so, okay. <laughs> so our buddy Crom really wants all the pistols tossed overboard. All right, hand me or, all or in Lieben's tiny hut. 
Yeah, hand me. Yeah. Uh, uh, do, you, do we want to try it in Lehman's Timing Hut first? Um, uh, you, you mean the chest, Lehman's chest? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can throw them in there and see what you guys think. Is that the one filled with grenades? Uh, no, he actually wound up using uh, the the uh, pouch of uh, holding for that. Oh, okay, so so you're gonna put all the all what in the chest? I guess the munitions. So you're gonna put the 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 bullets, the blasting caps, the powder horns, and the pistols all in the chest. There are actual blasting caps. Well, yeah, the little nibby things oh, that you put on the top. Of the yeah. Very yes. nice. yeah. yeah, throw all that stuff in. Um, and what about the black gem? You, you raised you. You already said no, so no. Yeah, he said no on the gem. Okay, so he's got it still. Uh, KTF fiend in the care? chat wants do to know if any of these. Oh, go ahead, please. Do you care, Nick? Do you want it? No, no, no. That's fine. We can hide it. All right, throw it in there, and then why don't you? Well, no, you don't have enough hit points. Lance, good friend, you are holding this in case something goes crazy. Okay, yeah. so let's see who would hear this. Um, Weird not and drawn hear a scream of pain and anguish. Good. Nice. Mm. We'll, we'll give her the finger uh, <laughs> and say, we're coming for you. You know, well, I don't think she can hear it now that you shut her out. <laughs> All right. KTF so fiend, surprise. KTF fiend in the chat uh, said, uh, just before we do that whole chess thing, we have to make sure that none of the guns uh, have any vorpal qualities. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lehman doesn't work like a portable, so very good. It really doesn't, no. I'm, I'm, Jim, I'm going to restudy them to get my spells back so everyone gets a, a two-hour KP break to either cut potatoes or uh, get MREs. So. You going to do that in the sky? No, we're not going anywhere yet. Okay. So I'm just going to... Let's take the time and um, rememorize and get my three spells. All right, very good. And now nobody ready. has more than four healing potions, right? Correct. But now they're all extra healing because we got our own staff working. Okay, very good. What are the new stats for them? Uh, new stats for extra healing is uh, two. Uh, so it's it's forty four plus three. And I, 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 and I do have a question about monk. Uh, so I was looking at a table for monks, and evidently I get additional damage done with weapons. Does that apply Absolutely. to uh, to even the bow? Yes. Missile, yeah, I, monks and missile weapons, yes. There's uh, that article you can find, ooh, not Arcana. Uh, because know, it looks like I get a plus four correct. at my level. That that uh, the errata actually covers that note. Gary listed that in Sorcerer's Scroll under errata. Okay. These would be these would be excellent conversations to have when yes. the audience isn't expecting things to happen. Right. So <laughs> let's make some adventure happen. What a great idea! So we are out the door. Okay. And you go up in the air. How high are we going? Uh, I'm gonna jam at 200. Okay. Very good. For 200, Alex. Yes. Okay, uh, you're over by the lake. Excellent. Um, do we want to hire our boatman, or are we just going to land on the uh, area, the area of the tower, and make our way forward? Uh, let's uh, let's just hit the second tower. Let's just like let's fast up onto the top of it. Okay, so this is what happens. You guys, you know where the first tower was. It's on the outside ring of the islands, right? Yep. And there are probably. 200 goblins building a new tower there. Wowza. And they have the first level all done. And there are weird, large uh, tubes um, on all sides of this tower. Let's gun run on them. Let's like circle yeah. them and fireball them. Tell us, tell us a little bit about them. They're just big metal tubes. You don't know what or why they are. You have a sneaking suspicion that like the pistols, they're going to fire pellets at you. Well, let's give them some pellets. Uh, I am going to uh, uh, offer up, launch all missiles, and uh, send a fireball uh, at the center of that mess. OK, great idea. The fireball goes down, and suddenly, this great big blue film covers the top of the goblin tower, and your fireball is negated. Brilliant. Brilliant. And it's their turn. They're really happy about this. How much damage do you think that wagon can take before I blow it apart? 
It's a wagon. Oh, he's got to be pretty rugged. Okay. Well, gotta I do. First. <laughs> That's no problem. I did. Uh... I did 15 points of damage to the wagon by two large pellets that went, and then when I say pellets, they're head sized, and they went through the wagon and up and out into the sky. That was 15 uh, that points gonna, of damage. Yeah, I was going to say, what if those tubes are ADA? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, okay, what do you guys want to do? It's your turn. I'll say feel the force and cover the wagon with a globe of force, wall of force. Um, so that, that takes any amount of damage, correct? Uh, unless you're throwing a disintegrate spell at me, so. Okay, I can't do that. I not think so. What would uh, negate spell do? Uh, too low level. It's too gotta be about level. six. Okay, I'm thinking, oh, that's a good idea. Okay, suddenly. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did <laughs> Did they use the negate spell? They don't know his level. Right. No, they didn't use the negate spell. Let's let's land it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, they did use the net. You you're the one that holds us to if yeah, you say no, it, you I, do I'm it. with you. I'm with you, buddy. They know exactly what level word is. I wear that license plate, you know, it's the 80s jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Firegraph, I have the spider on. Right, the, right. The bling. Magic. The goblins, the goblins firing. Yeah. Or, the, or is it agents who are firing, or who's who's employing spells? Okay, who do you think is employing spells? Yeah, the giant. you got to look at her face. The giantess, yeah, that you got to look at. Oh, speaking okay. of that, Orlando, it's time to make a magic save. All right. Yeah. And they did. Okay, very good. You see the face of an irritated giantess that's looking at you in the eyes and saying, I'm going to kill you all. And then the image disappears. And then Damn you your all to seduce her. <laughs> not my type. Yeah, not your type at all. Exactly right. Okay. And uh, they, they're firing some more shells, but they're bouncing. But uh, you figure there's some kind of magic in the works. Um, so uh, quick question, Jim. Uh, since Orlando is covered by my uh, globe wall of force and my wagon of death, yes. Um, can you? Since there's only two spells that affect it, so what spell is she casting that's getting through the globe of force? So I'm having no problem um, doing a touch giantess spell that just goes through that globe, no problem at all, because it's not a globe of spell resistance. It's it's a globe that affects physical force. Got it. Right. Needed an anti-magic zone, what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we might want to land. Can, we you got tell, <laughs> can you tell because of because she's been casting and casting and casting, can you try and get her location? Um, I have a pretty good idea where she is. Um, uh, I guess we just have to decide if we want to deal with the reassembling tower. Or let's just move on to number two. Let's let's move the bar. So we can actually destroy that uh, assembling tower and the goblins in one fell swoop. Your force of invulnerability prevents physical attacks. If we drop suddenly, I bet we could smush them and make paste. No profit in it right now. What? Why don't we? Experience. Why don't we just ghost the wagon into the second tower and teleport onto the third tower? We could definitely do that. We could definitely create total chaos like that. Okay, so you hear, like, uh, can I do it on the thing so you guys can hear it? Let me try this. I thought we were going to get, we hear, oh shit. And uh, did great. you hear those knocks? No, but we okay. felt. Oh, we'll you, pretend yeah. that we did. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, five no. five knocks, and your, your, uh, your uh, ship is sinking into the ground. Ship. Wagon. Yeah, your wagon. Okay. Is losing altitude. Yes. Starting to sink. Oh, uh, right? Rapidly or slowly. So someone tap on the bed knob. Yeah, you know, make it back up. I'm going uh, to ask you a question real quick. Fever, can we teleport onto the third power tower? Is there anything blocking us from doing that? Teleport onto the tower. Um, she doesn't think it's a good idea considering all the magic that's being thrown around here. 
-hmm. And she does sense several different waves of magic around that tower. How, uh, two questions for you, Jim. How yes. tall is the second tower? Oh, that's a fair question. That puts me to work. I'm going to ask the wizard, wizard, is there anything that gives magic users 30, a major headache? 30. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's things that give me a lot of headaches. Lots of things. Uh, 90... what, would be, what would be the worst possible thing right now to show up for you? Probably uh, an intellect devourer or a brain eater, something that would actually be a parasite. But yeah, yes. a real creature that could, well, they, actually, those guys can go astral, so they could go Correct. right through your... They, they, your would, right. they would literally be psionic creatures. So my ability to resist them is only magic resistance. That's the only thing that protects me from those things. But my so my going up. Mind flare. Mind flare. Mind flare. And let yeah. me ask real quick. How, how, do, um, how do those things find out about people? Uh, they, they are drawn to spell energy. Okay. Yep. Or and, people who do people who do mental things that grabs them. People who do psionics that really grabs them. Um, you guys play with astral and psionic stuff already, and right. that has already attracted those kind of creatures. They just don't know how to get into your plane. We're we're getting dates already. Well, let's. I can solve okay, our problem. Let me, let me let me just ask one one more quick question. <laughs> you poor devil. Where is the spell activity is coming from that third tower? No, I no. The second tower. Is it coming from the second tower? No, no. You can't quite tell where the spell activity is coming from. But yeah. Andrew said he had a pretty good idea of where that giant was. Yes, that's his speculation. And he's probably exactly right. That is at the center of the area. So my supposition is based on scrying. That it, that it couldn't close the door but kept nullifying stuff usually means it's the image that drawn has so since i've seen it now i'm able to go there the problem is in in uh corpse to corpse and face to face i don't know if we can survive the initial uh uh launch out initial uh materialization there that's what we don't know what the trap is that's gonna happen when we come face to face so, so what if i were to use my ring of three wishes and I were to ask, and it's dangerous, I know. I can't wait for this one. <laughs> Every okay, this is speculation right now. You are not using your ring. Right. Yeah, correct. Assume, Jim, assume this is a time stop. We'll take one of our three. Yeah, sure. Okay, go that, ahead. That um, every intellect devourer and mind flayer in existence would suddenly become aware of the location of a giant <laughs> named Ia. They're, the, so the challenge is this. They're inherently resistant to, to wish-type magic. They okay. are basically not affected by that kind of stuff, okay. usually because of the way they organize stuff. And they're also not prime material plane primary. They wander back and forth between stuff. So they're very unstable to us to deal with. It is unlikely that any would notice, um, let alone ever. Okay. That's a guess. Um, but I can cast Ariel's Light Bridge and get us down onto the second tower so that we can then decide if the second tower has relevance to us. Okay. Jim, you were shaking your head as I voiced the wish. What were I, your I can't wait till you start using your wishes. They're, I know, it would be fun. <laughs> it'll be grand, grand Let's fun. Let's some chaos. Yeah, glorious stuff. Yeah, any way that we could attract them to that tower. Right, getting more dates is better. Um, well, I, I think if, if it turns out that we do want to use a sore loser idea, we can definitely, I can happily give you some uh, paragraphs that'll make you go crazy. Now, nah, let's just think up one right now and say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. You know, those things can attack you just as much as the giantess. So, so I, my intellect is that of a village idiot. Clearly. <laughs> why, why would you go to hometown buffet when the Ritz Carlton is right over on that tower? I see. Well, whatever it is that's throwing spells is humongous because it's just putting out big pieces of chicken. And 50% yeah. of our party can feel it, which is uh, interesting. That's unusual. Yeah, I'm just like, what is the what is the way like that using a wish we could open? I'm not saying destroy the giant, but it's bothering us right now. Why not use a wish that suddenly attracts an enemy to it and allows us to go ahead and attack the second time? <laughs> because the types, of, so we know it's a cloud giant. And, and the types of things that dislike cloud giants are really bad. Uh, there are <laughs> uh, 
Uh, like, yeah, they're kind of like Cthulhu bad. <laughs> well, the cool thing we could do is is create a little um, uh, uh, Godzilla-like action and summon a storm giant. Uh, storm giants are even tougher than cloud giants, and, and they are better disposed towards us. So that might be a good way to uh, bring in some support. Uh, I don't know how pissed off it would be at being summoned against its will. So you'd have to have a big enough carrot to get its attention. And I just don't think we know enough to do that. And by, the, by the way, your ship has uh, just landed on the bridge you made. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to Lords of Light and uh, send the bridge down and then uh, roll our wagon right down. And, and uh, unfortunately, your wagon is not moving. OK, well, that's fine. Then we'll just uh, uh, use the bridge and transport to the bottom of which is the top of the tower. OK, so we've got from the chat Storycaster saying, why not just wish that the cloud giants had never been born, created, whatever. So there were no cloud giants. <laughs> Well, I think they're going to get a saving throw. What I'm trying to do is avoid a saving throw and create a situation. I know. I just <laughs> thought it was funny and share. It's yeah. basically uh, getting two big transformers to fight each other and, and have them duke it up. Yeah, uh, that's classic Prometheus. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> which is awesome. we've, so as far as monsters, we've got plenty of options. We can definitely do that. The only problem is the control and the long shot. And what are the repercussions afterwards? Maybe we don't care. I don't know. Repercussions, me percussions. You have, any, you, you, you have anything in your menagerie you want to toss at them? Uh, I have something available if we get in proximity of her. Yes. I've got a very sore loser uh, solution for her if we can get close. Okay. So we'll see. Okay. It's just we're rolling the dice without doing something. Right. Because she's going to continue to hurl spells at us. Well, I don't think she'll be able to in just a few moments once we okay. get out. So let's see what happens when we get down. Let's to follow the plan. Jim, uh, we're, we're landed, and, and what do we see up here? So uh, what's the condition of the force field? Is it stuck on the ship or stuck on you? Uh, it follows me for uh, round turn, hopefully, uh, uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Magic resistance saving throw, please. Up to 45 and a 41. Okay, very good. Um, you land on the roof and uh, there was some activity, but now all you see is a hundred little um, colored golf balls on the top of the roof. hundred golf balls. Uh, do they detect as magic? No. Hmm. And this is the second tower. Yes. And we got warned by the White Wizard. So the White Wizard came and sent me an iron golem and a note and said that uh, you've attracted the ire of this uh, cloud giant and that there'll be uh, small balls of light that you need to be pay particular attention to. Uh, do they look like anything? Does anyone have animal handling? I do. Can you gauge if this is any kind of uh, living organism? Can I, James? Yes, you can, and it's not. Okay. And it does not detect as magic. No. Golf balls. Yep. Does it de detect as poison? Toxic toxicology. Um. You know, you think there's definitely some poison in there somewhere. Ooh, that's in each one, each one of the hundred. Smart, 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 smart. Uh, how big are these items? They're golf ball size, and they're spread out so that you cannot walk on that tower without nudging one. Well, and when we look at them. Hang on, uh, we I'm just going to clamp out the light bridge so that it attaches to all the pirouettes in the tower. And we'll do, we have, do we have anything like the equivalent of a leaf blower that we could just blow those things away? <laughs> I think we actually do. I, that's, yeah, like a gust of wind. Well, I don't know. I was, I'm was i paranoid enough to want to save them because Chrome can use these in a very devious way. Um, so so I'm, I'm reattaching the light bridge, Jim, to all the uh, compass points on top of the tower. Yes. Uh, so that we're not walking on the golf ball, but walking right above them. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I would so, say, you want to try venom handling or do you want me to do it, Chrome, uh, and grab one of these balls? I will try venom handling. Okay, very good. <clears throat> so you touch one in some way. I don't really care what way you do. And the little golf ball expands to a bowling ball size. and. Yeah. 12 pounds and you're a minus three on all attacks and all saving throws and all damage. It's 
I don't understand what happened. Right. It's, what it's stuck to your body. Even though I used venom handling and was aware that it was poison. Absolutely, buddy. So it, it they they just so went. It, so it is poison. No, it's not actually. It's got a poison element to it. Got it. Okay. You uh, are not suffering from poison damage right now, but you are suffering from this heavy weight on your body. I'll touch him and say, Grease is the way. It's cool. It's got feeling. And I uh, cast that spell and dump that paper. <laughs> so he's greased. Now, let me think. Is it just greases? Is that all it does? Uh, yeah, but it, it may, well, it creates what's called a frictionless environment. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, I'll, uh, so that should give him remove contact enough for his 18 dexterity to actually he's a 20 like me so he can pull uh, before a reaction check yeah okay so that doesn't that doesn't work that does not work okay how, how long is he going to be slippery uh, where I greased his hand mm, hand trip uh, probably just the segment okay and you just did it on his hand correct where it was okay. in contact okay very good uh, so no luck there. No joy. Do we uh, recognize any symbols or markings on these golf balls and the uh, giant ball that's attached to Prometheus? Great question, Lance. No, you don't. And it's only bowling ball sized. It's not giant. And so it's attached to his hand? Yeah, it's sticking to, well, it's sticking to the top of his hand. Um, well, like a frightened turtle at it. So it reduces back in size. And uh, from bowling ball to one one hundredth of that, that'll be probably about the size of a ball bearing now. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it falls off his hand, and Prometheus takes 10 points of damage. Prometheus, where are you, my good what, friend? What, what nature was the damage? How, what, why did he it, have it's damage? It's kind of like a bandage pulling away from the skin. Mm. Mm. So he likes the idea of landmines, it seems. All right. <laughs> Um, um, not, not, not that I'm actually, you know, excited to use it, but I'm thinking if, if these things are scattered all over the place, you know, within close proximity, proximity to each other, yeah. I wonder what would happen if I tossed a grenade in there just to wipe away a clear spot. What oh. a great idea. I support that plan. Yeah, so, but I'm, I'm disgusting with the team. <laughs> so I could do minor marble madness and um, uh, have uh, uh, a thousand marble sized items displace that uh, because they'll, they'll be null. So, null set mass will push out against them. Uh, he was able to touch it, it rolled, it moved, and then it returned and fell. So Marble Madness would roll out a thousand and then we could dispel the marbles. Let me ask this question could. if you do that. So there's a hundred gold hundred balls up here, right? Yes. Okay. And they weigh in their ball form estimating what? A couple ounces? Uh you know, it's impossible to tell for you. The bowling ball weighs at least twelve pounds. Right. You, you can't tell what the little balls weigh. Right. So their mass changes. Yes, for sure. So 100 times 12 suddenly becomes 12,000 pounds. Yeah, it gets bad. So 1,200 pounds. If we, can, if we can trigger them, maybe we can actually collapse the roof of the tower. That's genius. That's um, awesome. <laughs> uh, one million XP for him. I think you were one zero high. Wouldn't it be 12? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even still. Uh, no, 12, 12 pounds times right. 100. Is 1,200. 1,200. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. 1,200 pounds is still a lot. <laughs> yeah, really. Not Don't good. argue with these math people, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it does you no good. I like that, though, because every time you said yes, I was like, what? What am I not understanding? <laughs> yeah, really. Um, so, like, your marble madness, because it would, it would act like a physics force, would trigger them. Maybe. Well, so the other thing I can do is... I could levitate them to the underside of the bridge. You could try. Fair enough. <laughs> I could try. Could we turn them into cannonballs? I was wondering if we could use that. That's why I want to try and collect them if there's some way. Because if you can have these poisonous, crazy-ass cannonballs, that would be outstanding. <laughs> so like, what, if, what if we just picked them all up right now and shotgun them at the third tower? Hmm. Well, the third... The third tower is over a mile away. 
How far can uh, can, can you uh, fling something uh, with the ma- with magic? What if, what if we what if we went above? You use levitation or disc or whatever, and then you did some kind of force spell that activated them, made them expand at the same time, and then shot down through the center of the tower. Oh, I, we're when thus we went, creating pressure and blowing out all the. So there is a spell that'll do that. I just don't have it. It's called shot put, and and that. Yeah, that would be an incredible use of force. That's a fantastic idea. It's just not something in the fridge today. So. If only we so, had everything we needed. <laughs> so when, we were, when we were in one of the towers, you used your scrying ability to reach through a force field to grab an artifact. Oh, yeah. Could, could we not do that and move the, um, the little golf balls somewhere else, like into the tower? So like well right but we have to have seen where we're going first. So my problem well, is, have you have you se- and open a gate and I can literally teleport them all through. We can have a family fun time with these things. Okay well, again well, so that's, hold on. that's we have a, seen that's an assumption. We have seen the you've seen the tower one. Presumably they're rebuilding it the same and if not we've seen it from overhead so could you not transport them all to tower one? No yeah. cuz he hasn't seen the interior of tower one. Have, well, have, you can drop yeah. them all over the surface of it. Yeah, right. But ha- have you seen the location of the cloud giant, give or take, yeah. and transport all these things to her? Yeah, no, no, it can't do that. Well, I thought because I've seen her outline, I have the background that comes with that. No, you can't. You, you No, you didn't get enough information for teleporting anything towards her. Got it. Okay. Uh, even even under the unfamiliar role? It wouldn't yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, no way in the world. Got it. Okay. Because that would be very nice. Hmm. Um... So should we just storm this tower? Yeah, let's, let's cause some damage, uh, right? Our, our our fans like damage. Uh, what are we looking at when we look at the surface uh, around it? So it's uh it's probably a uh, hundred yards, mm-hmm. and there's these little balls like two foot apart everywhere. Okay. And it's stone surface. Yes, oh, it's definitely stone. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, I'll say one express elevator going up. So I have levitate and now I'm going to uh, direct it at the far end where maybe there's a small number and try and lift them to see if they lift. Hmm. And, and activate. Well, yeah, yeah I want to see if they actually mess with stuff because we have a really good range now. Let's see. Levitate. Okay. Ooh. Just a second. Magic resistance, please. They definitely don't like me. That's for sure. Uh, 25. Okay. Super two. I was 0 for 4. Last it, it, how much did you want to lift it? Um, well, so that's my question. Um, uh, I just want to see if I can lift it. So let's say uh, one foot. Okay, and it lifts an inch. How, how, oh, you, so, you feel a great weight. Am I lifting one or many? Just one. So it expand. I feel the weight of 12 pounds that you referenced to Chrome? Nah, even more than that, and it didn't expand. It does not expand. There's an attenuator on this le- on, yeah. on, on this yeah. thing. Exactly. What, uh, if, what if we had, like, cube of force and dropped it down there? See, that would be impressive. A cube of force would cause total chaos. Um, <sighs> I'm happy to say I haven't given you a cube of force. Would you like to wish for a cube of force, Nick? Yeah, we knew he was going somewhere with yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> Wishman. That's the easy credit cube. Yikes. Yeah, exactly. Why is it an easy credit cube? Because the cube of force is a lot of mayhem. However, they can power the wand of force, and that can be pretty outstanding for you. Yeah. That is the closest thing to a lightsaber in D&D. Ooh. You yeah, be, I quite agree. You would be very happy. with. We'll talk about that offline. Um, all right, so I've, I lifted – I tried for a foot – and I got an inch, and the weight didn't feel like 12. It felt like 120. It was like 10 to, 10 to the, it was a power. You can, you can barely lift it. It's, it's taking Whoa. all your mental concentration. Oh, it's taking all your mental concentration. Lance, make a magic saving throw. All saving throws are magical, James. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're now, win, what, what, so we're now, what's your uh, pound limitation for levitate? How much can you levitate? I can, I can put up a pretty big piece of chicken, so uh, I can crank over a thousand pounds. So, go to twelve. Did you did you just save, Lance? 
Yeah, got a 12. Okay, you got this image of a snarling um, female giantess, and she clearly wants you dead, and then the image disappears. I'll wink at her and smile and tell her I'll see her later. <laughs> no well, well done. Boldly done, sir. Note to party members who, who, who resist her uh, affections. Please ask and look to see what her surroundings are. We need to build. So, so what did I see when she was uh, growling at me? You just saw her face and her, her cur curly red hair and her great beauty. Okay. So did I see anything around her or is it just her sort of? You were too busy looking at her, her hourglass figure. So I'm going to say to Fever, you and I are mentally linked. So when she attacks me, you figure out where she's at. Perfect. Exactly right. Well, she'll try. She doesn't know if she can. I you, will. Uh, Fever, you can do everything. because You are the sexiest. Lady <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, they, once she, they, ex she explains we, to you that they use a different magic than any other race, and she has no handle on it at all. Yeah. Well, you so spot that. And you're getting that ten thousand GP gem. That ooh, ooh, her little, her little stony heart, metal heart beats flutter, 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 flutter. So, <laughs> how so, do we get in this tower? Oh, yeah. yeah, what are we what are we looking at, Jim, to get in here? Word no well, when you're Go ahead, boys. I was just say, Word no, when you're done, you can scry into my mind and see what I saw and see if that helps you build a better picture. No, you, he doesn't care about the girl's body. <laughs> that tells you something too. <laughs> <laughs> Word in his tough days. <laughs> There he, he goes, Ben. Ordna to ye old bar. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so can we get by these things in order to get into the entrance? Well, you can try, but it's going to be difficult. Tell me what the entrance looks like. It's just a big hole in the ground with little balls completely surrounding it. Well, we can just walk on the bridge right to where the hole is and go through. Wouldn't that be nice? If you give that a try, go ahead. Uh, we'll, we'll walk over to where the hole is. What's the diameter? It's, uh, I want to say, 10 feet by 10 feet. So if I uh, roll back the bridge so we're only over the hole, uh, yes. can I take my staff and push it down and see if there's anything in there obstructing mm, it? Interesting. No. Okay. So when you say no, what happens when I try? It, it, it doesn't pull anything up or move the trap door a bit. Sorry, I missed... Door. I only heard hole. It's okay. a trap. It's a trap door in the in the ceiling. In the well, that's not a hole now, is it, James? Got it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I wish to apologize to all of the players for my horrific mistake. Well, why don't you go ahead and make a save versus bad DMing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I, I make it easily. Thank you. Yes, of course you do because you have. The, you're the best. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> Can I levitate the trap door open? You don't know. You haven't tried it yet. How many levitate spells do you own? Uh, the best thing about this spell is how long it lasts. Okay. Uh, I've got somewhere north of four hours. Okay. So I'm going to give it a little tug. Okay. And, and it opens right up and five little golf balls fly up into the air and don't hit you guys. No, because they can only hit the wall of force. Um, all right. Are we going down? Yep. So wait, wait, wait a minute. So my 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 guess is going to be as soon as we go down, uh, the, these things are going to you know plop all over us. Since you were able to lift it an inch, you know, stands the reason that with levitate, you should be able to shove all these things slowly away from the hole. So at least it's nowhere near where we're going. Actually, here's an interesting question. Um, I'm going to lean over the light bridge and. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. See how the wall of force does. does. Do they resist? Do they push back? Yeah, not a bit. Not a bit. The wall of force does not force them back. No, and speaking of that, how you can't go in a hole with a wall of force up. Sure, I can change the diameter. Hmm. If you're giving me a 10-foot diameter, I'm just going to make my circle 999. Nine, nine. That's how you play D&D, &D, James. I'm just trying to think if you can change the diameter. Oh, you, you think I have the TV guide version of the wall for Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are there people watching this stream who know what TV guide is? 
<laughs> oh, that's harsh. That I got is harsh. I got people who smiled because they knew what we were talking about. Yeah, really. Wow, Lance, you you, you actually know what a TV guide is? I'm impressed. Yeah, we used to have them. Oh, okay. Right. Um, phone book. So, uh, <laughs> it doesn't. The wall of force has no effect on the little balls. It does not. I'm going to take my rope and I'm going to make a belay and an anchor and lower Levi, who's a monk, down into the trap door. All by himself. Yeah, someone's got to go first. Okay, very good. You volunteer, Levi. Yeah. Well, well, actually, I don't need. I don't need. Uh, so, what? What's you the might want it in case I need to pull you out. Right, right, right. But um, I, I guess my, my point would be is I, I can wrap it around my waist. However, I, I would probably just drop down. You know, I wouldn't climb. But I might need to yeah. pull you out. Right, right. Right. So being tied to the rope is a good thing. Yes. yes. We can pass the rope Safety around, right. and then you can make the rope pull himself up if you want. Okay. So Levi does that, and he gets pelted with five little golf balls. Oh, and man. He, he now can't hit. He now can't move. He now can't make saving throws. Why? Why was he pelted? You where? Don't where, know. Did, where were they the balls? They came from there? down below. They were down, down below. below. Yeah, down ball. below. And uh, okay, five balls. That's uh, sixty pounds. Well, six. Thank you very much. Sixty pounds. But it's it's all over you. So it, it's impossible for you to move. You're wiggling. Hoist him back up. You you can't out. you can't believe how happy you are that somebody tied a rope to your waist. So yeah. that Nick could pull you up and get fifty experience points for that wise move. Yeah. What help, Paul? Now I would note that sixty pounds should not be debilitating whatsoever. Oh, I I agree with you hundred percent, but this is a different type of thing. What did he, <laughs> different kind of sixty pounds? Yeah. What, did say? He, what did he see down there? Uh you know, he got pelted in the face with one of these babies, so he can't see a thing. Okay. So he had was, no like as it he was, went through the hole, he got no look down there. Uh, he saw darkness. Hmm. Oh, darkness, my old friend. I will haul him back up to the light bridge. Okay, he's up to on top of the light bridge, and he's not happy. Um, he wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, can I do the same thing I did to Chrome and uh, um, grease him up? Can he take fifty off. points of damage? Yeah, do we one at a time, and we have to heal him in between. Yeah, never mind. Right, right. Do it. Do a couple at a time, and then heal. Yeah. Huh. Uh, clerics, do you guys have any magic that might be useful for this? I guess, is it is it a magical effect, or it's some sort of organic thing? Right. Yeah, you know, it's probably organic. Right. It's not clear to me, and I don't know how to. I can't. I can remove the things. I just can't prevent the damage from that. Um, so I, I, I'm going to try to talk to an animal. Is it an animal? No, it's not. All so right. I would like to do something. Yes, what would you like to do? Well, you said that these things had poison in them. Yes. And then, so that makes them a toxin. Yes. Can I identify an antitoxin that would, that would cause them to reject the host? Sure. Uh, uh, a green crystal pops into your mind. And, uh, and you know that if you had green crystals... Not emeralds, green nice. crystals. You'd be able to touch one. Uh, the crystal would turn to dust, and so would the, the bowling ball. I will show this image, and, and Fever has – Fever can communicate with Verdna. Uh, yep. Fever can communicate with me. Uh -huh. I will display this image to Verdna. Okay. Uh, with glimmer, I'm going to – sorry, glitter. I'm going to look and scry a location for green crystal. Ooh, that's a great idea. Please make a magic resistance saving throw. And give Chrome a lot of experience points. <laughs> that, was, that was a big ups. You can have 50 more experience points just because I'm a good guy. I'm going to spend it all in one place. <laughs> that's all the XP I'm getting. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you, Walt. Uh, uh, zero six was my roll, Jim. I'm three okay. for three today. I just can't seem to hurt you. Um, you're being mentally attacked when you try this scrying, and you're you're a positive. If you continue to scry, you will succumb to the magic. Uh, so normally, when you're attacked, when you're actually looking and viewing a place, you see the place you're viewing. Is the place in the dark? Yeah, you don't see it. Do you so wish to continue viewing? Um, well, no. If it's scrambling. 
what's left of my little brain now. Okay. Okay. Well, fever is fever can detect gems. Yeah, She's but he can't. Yeah, crystal. he can't detect these crystals. Okay. Does she know what kind of crystals they are? She knows exactly what kind of crystals they are. What are they? They're green crystals. Like, well, what's their chemical nature? What do they call them? Blah, 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 blah. She doesn't know from chemical nature. They're just, they're green crystals. Do, does she know where they can be found? Um, she thinks in the mountains to the west they can be found. Okay. But chances are if these things are here, there's some antidote for them around. And she can't detect any of these things locally. No. In her radius. No. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, make a magic save for fever. And she must get less than a 10. And uh, let's see, this would be, what kind of plus would this be? Has she got any pluses for giants? I don't remember. Well, I mean, she has this affinity for giants because she can turn me into one. Right, but uh, she doesn't have any plus when giants are, are she doesn't have any plus to hit giants. She rolled an 18 anyways. Okay, she, sa she saved against a magical attack, and now she fears for her metal life. But did she do what I asked her to do and see where it was? Yeah, no, she couldn't. With such a, with an 18 saving throw? She saved, she saved versus sword death. Yeah, but she's an artifact. She can't be killed. Um, she can be wounded. <laughs> she can lose her powers. She can have gems fall off her sheath, which would really irritate the hell out of her. That yes. just means she's more determined to kill the giant. Yeah, that's what it means. All right, yes. So she's really affli afraid for her life. Yes, she is. From, uh, from what? From this giantess who seems to be able to look at all of you and do stuff to you. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're not a fan. Okay. Um, so so if, if we've got these balls on the top, we've got the balls on the inside, what, what you know, Whoa, what what then yeah what then what an interesting question levi i have uh sling balls that i carry for uh instances just like this i'm going to take one and yes. throw it an aimed throw at one of the golf balls yeah okay you move it like an inch but it doesn't but does, but does it expand when it touches it no not at all it only reacts to organic matter that right. would seem to be true james I'm going to cast... Uh, Would now be a time to use that plant? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to cast Dust Devil and send okay. it down into the hole and have it move all of these golf balls. Okay. Dust Devil. So so it creates a... It, it creates almost like an invisible... Stalk, like a lesser invisible stalker. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, it will use its, its wind... Its ability for wind and stuff like that to just... Uh, move all of these things out to the extreme, so out to the edges of wherever it is we need to walk. Okay, I love that. So, um, he it moves half of them for sure, and then it's covered in bowling balls and can't move an inch. What is the dust oh, the devil? But it moved half and it was covered in bowling balls, yes. So, it has sort of like activated all of them, right. Um, it hasn't activated all of them. There are still 50 of them there on the side. So shouldn't on, we're on not... Level. I'm this, sorry. Is this the top of the tower or down in the hole? We're still in the top of the tower. So so if Wardner was able to lift one of the uh, balls by an inch, he, he should be able to roll all the rest of the balls off to the sides. Why and, do you think that, Levi? Uh, because rolling something is easier than lifting something. <laughs> Okay, well, that could be, or maybe not, depending on what the thing is. Well, I guess we're one way to find out. Yeah, I'll try redirecting um, a little bit and see if I can uh, use Orient Levitate to push. Is the force field still up? Yeah, four hours. Yeah, I still got time. I got plenty okay. of All right. Uh, a little orc pops up out of a hole <laughs> and, th and throws two balls at you, we're not and it strikes the force shield and it sticks and the orc disappears down the trap door. Oh, au contraire on the okay. part. What happens then, Andrew? <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to say, hello, my good friend. 
I'd like a moment of your time. I bet I'm not going to like this. <laughs> Minus five on the chip. minus five. Oh my goodness! Um, well, is it a eight hit die orc? What what do you got from it? It isn't got eight hit dice. It's a two hit die orc. Right. Yeah. Okay. Didn't save. So what's this a friend spell? Uh, no, I did charm monster fourth level. Okay, it's charmed. All right. That just means that it's friendly towards you. Hi, buddy. It will hey. look at you and say hi. Let Let's stop throwing those things at me. Hey, here's a question for you, my good friend. How are you uh, doing that? Uh, how are you picking those up? And come on out of the hole so we can get a good look at you. Uh, okay, so it's only friendly to you. Oh, I'm fine with that. I got goblin snacks. <laughs> goblin snacks. Ew. Goblin chow. All you can carry. All right. It comes out of the hole, and it's wearing a black glove, and it has this little pouch of golf balls. And glove, it, yeah, with this gl black glove, you can handle these all the time. I see. Is really nice talking to you. Hey, come on over here, buddy. Uh, I'm, I'm going to trade you this gem, and I know you want this gem. I hold up a, a 100 GP agate. And what are we trading for? Well, uh, you, you get this just for coming over, and I'll tell you what you've won right after. Okay. It takes the gem. Okay. Um uh, uh, chill out, dickwad, and I'll freeze him in place. Okay, he's frozen. All right, take that glove off. Okay, you have a glove, the big black glove. Is it leather? Is it what the heck is the material? You've never seen the material like this before. It's kind of a woven mesh. Now, someone put it on and see if it can remove the crap off my face. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do that. Um, I'm wearing gloves. Who is not wearing gloves? Tron or Orlando, can one of you wear this glove? I have gloves on. You have gloves on as well. I don't. I'll, I'll try it. All right. Okay. So Orlando puts on the glove. And Orlando, magic save, please. Okay. Uh, these are magical. <laughs> and uh, I do. You, you saved? Okay, very good. So you put on the glove, and you can pull all the bowling balls off of Levi, and he takes no damage whatsoever. Do they okay. bowling ball stay bowling ball size, or do they reduce? They all stay bowling ball size. Um, okay. Anybody want that ball? <laughs> <laughs> can you toss them over the uh, tower, off the out of the way? I, I try. I yeah, you have no problem doing that. All right, so if let's, anything uh, pops out of the trap door, James, once an area is clear, I'm going to knife it. Okay. And I'm going to uh, uh, lock up my crossbow of speed. So if anything comes over, uh, comes out of there, and, and he doesn't see it, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. I've got my dragon bow aimed at the entrance. Okay. All right, let's stack up and go. Yeah. Now that, now that uh, we have somebody that can handle all these balls. Mind so, clearing, EOD. So he's clearing the, uh, the minefield as we go. Let's Orla Orlando's our EOD guy. Who's going down first? Drop a continual light stone down so we can see, and then exactly total EOD uh, to get okay. to the bottom. All right. Which place are you guys at? You guys, oh, look at that. That'll be fun for me. Okay, so who's going down first? Well, I'm invisible, so I, I'll go down first with my. Um, well, actually, I don't need my bow at the ready. I, I, I've got my hands, so. I'll okay. Go down first. Invisible. Invisible. So I can't get you. You see, uh, you see ten hobgoblins and six orcs, and they're all armed with these great big tubes. All right, which should, all right. So I'm gonna sneak back up and let everybody know what I just saw. Okay. And uh, and obviously these are tubes, probably with you know filled with these uh, little balls of ours. So it would be my speculation. So, uh huh. So what do we want to do? Uh, I I know what I want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, retrieve two of my uh, grenades. Yes. Yes. And uh, pop off the spoons and toss two down into that room. And, okay. Uh, Very you know, good. In the, in, the, in the directions of where I saw sure. things occurring. You know, I'm all for it. Yes. You have to call fire in the hole. 
That's right. <laughs> he, he does hear a big explosion. All right, I, I'm I'm invisible, and I, uh, do, do, do we hear anything? Do it, you know, you, screaming, you yelling. You heard? No, you hear no screaming, no yelling. So do I, I'm going to go peek down while I'm still invisible and see what I see. Okay, very good. So while uh, you're looking that up, uh, uh, and uh, oh, he, I caught a drink. <laughs> hey, Nick, did you want to tell uh, about our show sponsor, uh, Galaxy's Edge, real quick? All right. Love Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is the premier science fiction space between TV show. No, right now it's books and it's audiobooks on Audible. You can get started today with Galaxy's Edge 1. If you like Star Wars with the serial numbers filed off, you like full tilt, full auto, space marine combat, really, you should just take this nice break over the holidays and get started. One of the people that just got into it the other day said that they had started listening over uh, Christmas Day because someone gave them a gift and they completed all nine books by my birthday on the 29th. Oh my wow, God. So cool. that's, how, that's how much fun it is for people who are obsessed. And happy birthday. Nice. Happy birthday. I'm 52 years old. Uh, yes. Wow, before. 52. Yesterday. The other day. Nicole Young took man. me out for a big old steak and some lobster mashed potatoes. She was Ooh. in a dress. It was very enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we get a picture of that? What's the deal? Share, I took a picture. Like. She, said, she said, you cannot post this picture. Oh, dang it. I hate when she edits. It was some coconuts. Mm, I bet it was. Okay, hey. So uh, we did the ad. Are we ready to go there, Walt? Hit it. Okay. You... um. Levi, you get hit with uh, three uh, very I, large. I get dodge. I get yes. dodge. Thank you very much. You don't get dodge on a ladder, buddy. I'm not on a ladder. Okay. How do you think you stuck your head down there? Uh, I, I, I'm assuming that there's a roof, so I'm sticking my head down. You know, I'm lying down and looking down, down into the hole. Okay, it's I appreciate like what that. You do. Levi, that's wonderful. That means that I can only get headshots on you. Right. Which would which be hard. Which is going to do even more damage. Except well, there are no critical hits. There are, there no. are no headshots because you can't aim shots. You know, you can't aim shots, but if the only piece of the target is his head, then that's what's getting hit. Which takes us to 14 points for Levi in pistol or in rifle damage. Hmm. No dodge? No dodge. And you think that they fired at least 20 rifles. Wait, didn't you grenade these puppies? Yeah, I, I grenaded them. So. Yeah, thank you. He tossed a grenade. This is a very large room. So two, it got, two grenades it, in their direction. Yeah, thank you. So it killed a couple orcs. Great. Good job. And then it was their turn. Okay. Mm. I'll throw some more. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, very good. I unload the arsenal. Those, did you see any it's, of those golf James, balls? James, you have to also understand, these are grenades, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is area of effect. Each one of them is going to get hit. By yeah, I'm, I'm giving you a 20 foot area of effect. Yes, Walt, can you give Jim a brief cursor explanation of what happens when you throw explosives into enclosed spaces? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's multiplicative. Yeah, it's uh, there's a concussive effect that's quite devastating. Yeah, yes, no one, thank you. No thank one's you. aiming anything. Has, has the DM of this game, <laughs> I, I have decided exactly what happens when two grenades are tossed down into a very large 100-yard um, area. So I know exactly what happened. But they would be bleeding from their ears. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nick, for that, that cogent and uh, insightful um, dialogue. And now what would you guys like to do? And and they, they shouldn't be able to aim because they're all concussed and can't hear and well he usually sighted so so yeah. Levi when you were down there did you see any evidence of those golf balls before we charge in willy nilly? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. What did I see? <laughs> Only Naven, Rule sixty one on page sixty three of the DM's guide says that you're wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Walt. Really appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> okay. Um. Hey. What, what what did I see? I mean, I, I obviously the, these things weren't you know shooting these weird balls, but instead you know actual like rifles. Rifles, so. yes. And you saw you saw many hobgoblins and many orcs spread all across a very large room. So did I did I notice that whether they're uh, are they auto repeaters or are these like flintlock yeah. things? You had no way to tell. Why? 
Because you don't know what an auto repeater is. <laughs> well, all right. So, so, um, yeah, yeah. Are they multi shot? Okay. Um, and, and as we're talking, I'm sure they had more than enough time to reload. Oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is all happening simultaneously. How far, how far is the drop <laughs> into the tower? It's about 22 feet. And there's a ladder that goes down. Yes, there is. Andrew, just drop a fireball in there. I I'm, I'm think well I think I'm going to give him the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, oh, Jim, I will cloud say kill. Sarah will fall across the universe and death will come from the skies and send a cloud kill into the room. I'm not uh, going to enjoy this, am I? Uh, well, you're not you're forcing us to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, 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 you. You're not appreciating the grenade physics, so Yeah, you know, yeah, really. The D physics. Okay, so, so this right. is he knows, he knows how cloud kill goes. Uh and what's the range of a cloud kill these days? Uh, Everywhere. Creep along uh, for an extra 10 rounds. So 50 by 40 by 20. And, 50, uh, that's feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 50 feet, and, and okay. You said it was 100 feet inside, so. No, I did not say that. I thought you did when you initially referenced the size. It's about 100 I, feet long. I didn't say feet. You think you said yards? I think I know that I said yards. Interesting. But I thought all measurements inside were in feet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. In the real world, sure. In Gary land, no. Oh. And you know, our buddy Nick wants to be in Gary land all the time. So that's where I've put you guys. So Gary it goes it goes down there. You got to look to control his direction there, big guy. So yeah. he can he can tap my, eye, uh, my whatever I saw and guide it based off of what I saw. No, he can't. So, why? Because he'd have to, he'd have to read your mind to do that, and he's busy concentrating on his cloud kill. And I can tell him exactly where I saw all the, yeah, you know, the shape of the room and what, okay, where, the, where I saw them. They were all around the room. Since, so he, he since can start razor, making a big circle. That can be done. Since Razor and Levi are both invisible, I'll stick Razor uh, onto Levi's shoulder so I can look out through his eyes and use that to drive the cloud around the room. I see. So, yeah, that, so, so that's another question. What, 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 how, what, why did they end up shooting me when I was invisible? You know, that's a very good question. Maybe they anticipated someone coming down the ladder. And they shot exactly when I stuck my head down? Yeah, because I told you there were 20 bullets, but you only got hit by four of them. They're very smart. They went to, they went to Hobby Goblin finishing school. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have put that bit at myself. Okay, so hey, you're starting to stir the cloud kill. Okay, thank you very much. Now I would note that you you your cloud kill can act. I mean, none of these things are taller than ten feet, give or take. Not even and, they're all short. So so you yeah, since yours you, you what what's the area effect of a cloud kill? It's you said twenty feet high, so right. you can actually shorten it down to six feet. Well, and, that's right. And, that's what I'm thinking, and pressing it out wider. Right. Exactly. So you, you, yeah, you can take sure. the entire room. Now, before he does that, he's making a magic save. Are we due for four for four? I'm sorry. I, I'm three for three so far. So I know. On. It's disgusting. 33. I don't seem to be able to get you, but okay. you, get the, you get the glaring face of the giantess, and she says, your spells will get you in more trouble now than they did before. And she disappears. In giant, I return the comment coming soon to you. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to use both myself and Razor to try and memorize any features around her. Yeah, okay, you didn't get much. You just got a beautiful body. He doesn't care about body. I, yeah. I, know, that, I know that he's made that very clear, but that's what he got. Check it's, your um, messages, Wardner. Uh, yeah. So, um, Jim. Yes, sir. I'm. I'm going to say. Um, uh, so you're relinquishing your cloud kill spell. No. No, I guess I'm not. Oh, okay. Uh, very good. Hang on. Did, did, I mean, have we wiped them everybody out? Have we shrunk it down so that? Yeah, you know, nobody's looked in there so that I can shoot at them. Yeah, no, but, but how where, they... where the dragon is because it's invisible. As well as uh, Levi. Okay, so Actually, no, Levi also displaced. Do you Le Levi told me he he was up on. He's not in there at all. Oh, he's not. Okay. Got no. It. 
I was just looking down invisible and somehow they they shot me. But hang on, since he also has displacement now, how does displacement affect his physicality when the way it works on surface area is if the distance is 10 feet away, how does that actually translate for him? So what they're shooting when they shoot at him is not where he is physically residing. Okay, but my understanding of displacement, tell me if I'm wrong there, buddy, is the first round, Nobody gets anything, but the second round, they get to get him. But th that was the first round. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy that. So, for okay, um, very good. This, this so I, I wasn't told I wasn't told he was displaced. It's the object he's wearing, though. What is he wearing a displacer cloak? No, it's not a cloak. What is the thing, JR, that you created? That Oh, like, the sash, the, the, yeah, the archer, sash. marksman sash? Yeah, so that's what, so it's basically a sash of displacement, and it puts you 10 feet away is how the description read. Red. When when in the world could a cavalier make a marksman sash? No, 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 no. We got this from uh, JR's encounter, and that was one of the things Levi rolled for. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a nice deal. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. So I'll tell you what, Levi, because I'm a nice guy, I won't let you take any of the damage from those bullets, but from now on, you're fair game. Happy holidays. All yes, right. and, and the rule, the house rule is, you don't get to question the DM constantly. You get, you get. You <laughs> so get, hold on, hold on. You get two indictments per special session. Oh, okay, very Save good. Them. Save them. We're All not gonna. Right. We're not gonna just rules lawyer this poor man to death. <laughs> we're so about five hundred so magic items. The yeah. the marksman sash is his range uh, plus oh, two. Oh, and Rothman, you've used your two for the day. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> I have. So so the marksman sash was plus two to just ranged in general that he would wear. But you're talking about the shield, which he would actually have to be using to get that oh, benefit. Okay. So wrong item. Never mind. Yes, I would like something James to do. I can understand that. Why don't you hop down there so I can shoot at you a couple times? I will. I summon my shield maiden. How do you do that? She's with me. I said she's coming with me. Okay. But did, did we resolve the cloud kill thing, though? I mean, did, did, did that no, no, let's 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 go with. I thought we weren't letting the maiden go because you wouldn't let the wolfoids go on the boat. I don't care about the wolfoids. They're not my thing. I'm the party <laughs> leader. I'm bringing my shield maiden. I don't care what anybody else does. I, I don't think Lance approves of that. I could care less what the fuck Lance wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Good to know. Good okay. to know. Shield maiden has a Titan shield that makes her invulnerable to missiles. Yeah. Okay. On one side. Yes. We will. We will make our way down the stairs with okay. the back of the stairs covering us. Yeah. Okay. Great. My turn. Okay. Go for it. Thank you. She takes 22 points of bullet damage. How so? Please explain. She gets shot from from through the ladder. So there's a, there's a ladder going down. It's not stairs. Right. I never said it was stairs. Okay. So so but she's not taking any damage from the front of the ladder. That's a, yeah. She right. takes so she I takes be, hits. Her shield would, takes. Hits. I would be taking the damage because I was at her back covering her. You, you, no, no, that's not going to work. She goes down the ladder. You go down the ladder. She, she doesn't like sit in your lap while you go down the ladder. Okay, but so okay. now we're both at the bottom. Okay, you you aren't on the bottom. I have to shoot at you too. Yes. Wait a minute. Yeah. What, what what if he's got a baby Bjorn? No, no, Rothman. You're <laughs> okay. Done. All, right, all right. All right. You're done. We can let him argue. I don't care. It's just well, as much I need, fun. I need, I need some show smoothness, not uh, not, not L.A. Law, my D&D &D show. All right. I do eight points to you, Chrometheus. <laughs> okay, great. I would like we to are down there down. now, and we're, Verdna and I are linked mentally through fever. Cloud kill away. Yep. I'm, I'm going to ride around with cloud kill and try and uh, flatten them out. Simultaneous to doing that, Jim. Um, I'm listening. How many can I see through his eyes? Also, I must remind you that my Valkyrie glows blue. That's true. Mine do too. The other two do as well. Okay, wonderful. So, um, you he, he, when he looks around, it's in the dark. We're we're in the dark. Dragon sight so, two forty. Yeah, that works for the dragon. But where's the dragon right now? Uh, yeah. I was sitting on Levi's shoulder, so it's just uh, Levi is not in there. Great. Right, so I said it will stick its head upside down, looking out. James, I have in provision. 
Okay, that that's a good deal. So he sees uh, he sees two left in the room, and all the rest of them have gone down um, trap doors. Trap doors. Okay. Plural. Um, trap doors. That's handy. Uh, all right. I'll dispel the cloud kill um, and come down. Okay. Very good. And the other two went down trap doors, so there's no orcs on this level. How big is the uh, area of the room? 100 by 100 yards. How many, how many got killed? Oh, that's an excellent question. The answer is uh, three hobgoblins and six orcs. Do we uh, see anything of looting their body? Do we find anything? Yeah, just a second. There's just a little bit. Uh, Should be some hey, carbines. Claire, can, we, uh, can we animate these and turn them into IEDs? You might be able to. 100 by 100, you said. Yes, sir. And that's 11. OK. I would like to feed my shield maiden a healing potion. All right. She loves that. Is okay. this a tower room, Jim, or is it a, a, a square? It's a big tower room. It's, it's just one big room. OK, got it. All right. And? We have very large rifles with 18 shells and a black powder horn on each of the each of the dead orcs. What an abomination. I know. And we have. And James, as we always say on Forgotten Ruin, the only good orc is a dead orc. I know. I quite agree. And they had two gold total. Uh -huh. And then the hobgoblins. Um, same deal. They have, uh, they have, look at that. That's fun. Um, they have, uh, oh, that's really too bad. They have a great, great big chest. I like great big chest. Yeah, you will too in a second. Great big chest in the, in the corner of the room, the hobgoblins, uh, the, how many did I say you guys killed? Uh, nine dead so far. Yes, and uh, the hobgoblins don't have any gold at all, but they have these way cool scimitars that are high quality, extremely high quality. Does fever detect anything in the chest? Um, uh, oh, it's a treasure chest. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, she yeah, <laughs> she can't detect the thing. Okay. Can I um, can I detect traps? It's my good friend Orlando's turn to make a magic saving throw. <clears throat> And I missed it. You missed it. Orlando starts vanishing. What would um, Levi like to do? Tell word uh, about the vanishing cleric, and we needed to spell magic. Okay. And what would um, Cremetheus like to do? Uh, I'd like uh, Fever to tell me what's happening to him. He's he's going to where the giantess is, and he'll be killed. I think we're going. I would lunge. I'd like to. Oh, is it my turn? Can I do something? No, it's. Uh, it's I grab uh, onto him. I grab onto him. No, you asked. You asked Fever to do all the work this turn, okay. which takes us to Weirdna. Um, I'm gonna hold my action until the rest of the party acts, and then I will go. Takes our buddy Lance. I reach on and grab a hold of Orlando to see if I can pull him back. He Perfect. does indeed firm up. Would and then I call for help as I do it. Yeah, okay. Would John like to do anything? Uh, dispel magic. Ooh, that's really good. I'm so, also going to concentrate on what, if he's being teleported out, can I see anything? Yeah, no. It's a, it's a weird, unknown giant magic. Got it. And uh, dispel, that's going to do some heavy-duty stuff. You hear a scream of pain and anguish. I say in the in the in the words of the most holy <laughs> Horace, suck it. <laughs> okay, very good. And now the level's clear, and you see uh, how many trap doors do you see? How many of those rifles did you say we had? You got nine. You got nine rifles. Should we reload They're... these and get ready and and uh, prep them for use? Uh, you can do that, but you got to do a little finagling. Are they multi-shot? 
They're two shot rifles. They're two barrels, so they must be two okay. shot rifles. Word enough. They, uh, the uh, the the chat is saying that holding an action is some fifth edition jive right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we held we held our actions in Gary's game too. All the time. It's just moving your location in the battle order so you can go last. Yeah, exactly. I just thought that's, it was funny. I think you know what? That's how you D&D chat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's telling them, Nick. Well um, done, sir. Take 50 experience points for that. Woo-hoo, I'm blowing it at the strip club. <laughs> okay. All right. So this level's clear. Do we have an exit to the next? Yeah, there's four of them. There's one on each wall. Plus, we have these trap we... doors that the, the uh, orcs went through, right? No, that's the trap doors. That's the oh, okay. exits to this room. So that's do we see... Right. Um, uh, what was that? I was I, I was asking if okay, go ahead, Wardna. All right, there you said there's four. There at Cardinal Compass Points, North, South, East, and West. Yes, sir. <laughs> James, I I'm uh, I'm taking my thieves' tools and spiking three of the trap doors. Well, that means you have to open them, my good friend. No, I can spike them from this side so that they can't flip open. You're gonna spike them closed. Spike them closed. Okay, I'm with you. So, which one of the four are you leaving open? Uh, south wall. Okay, very good. South, east, or southwest? Southwest is the best. Okay, very good. I'm with you. There's nothing magical in that chest, correct? No, nobody's checked for that. Have we I opened asked it? Fever if there was. He asked Fever if there was. Oh, Fever said no, nothing magical. All right, yeah. so then let's load up the loot in that uh, chest and toss it in the, the bag for later. Well, was that inside the chest? I missed that. I'm sorry. We so haven't opened. We haven't opened it yet. Oh, I should, I should detect traps. Look for traps. Uh, what do you need for traps, there, Nick? Pretty high. Uh, I pretty high doesn't do it for me, buddy. It's like <laughs> it's like 99 percent right now. It is not 99 percent. <laughs> oh, I put all my points into it. It isn't 99 percent. Well, in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. In the Forgotten Ruins, you can do that. Andrew, I could dump all my points into that, right? All day long. Uh, at your level, you can put a maximum of uh, 15 points per 60, yeah. 30. So uh, let's see, that's 30, 45, 60. Uh, by fifth level, you'd be 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay. There's at least four traps on the chest. I will um, disarm them. You'll try to disarm them. My disarm is 100%. Okay, your disarm is not 100%. I'm not buying that, buddy. I had the points. I put them in. And, and I believe that's your second argument for the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, accept the, I accept the sword that I live by. Uh, yes, good. So what's your real number to disarm a trap? Hang on real quick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, great. You truly are becoming godlike. I'm gonna to have to do something about you. No, I mean it's really high. I haven't put all. I haven't maxed all my points out in there right now. Where I'm happy it? to hear that. Yes. Where is it? Do, I, gotta get do, it. Do. I know. It's bad. <laughs> I know. It's That's good. okay. We'll, we'll, we got dead we'll, air. Dead air. Yeah, really. We'll wait in game terms until you're ready to give us a fake number. Oh wow. Why don't you why don't you just say eighty two, Grometheus? Come on. No, because I have it, but for some reason it's missing from my sheet. You don't seem to have it. Why don't you ask Nicole? So while he's doing that, James, did you want to tell us about Dragon Scales? Oh, Dragon Scales. Ooh, yes. Um uh, we have a new uh uh anthology out called uh, Concord. Way cool. Um, and yeah. we're putting three Dragon Scales adventures on Kickstarter for next month, which is going to be way cool. And for uh, Goodman Games, I've got the Doom of the Warden. It's it's my homage to Tomb of Horrors. I tried to make a science fiction version that's horrific and scary all at the same time. And uh, so far, the uh, the reviews are that I've succeeded admirably. It's a it's a very disturbing work. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew. I like it. Uh, my my di- my disarm is seventy right now. Okay, very good. Without so add, your... without adding in all my points, which I could really push it to ninety nine. But yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why don't we roll four times for a seventy or less, my good friend? Okay, we made it once on the first one. Good. We made it on the second one. Very good. 
We made it on the third one, which is okay. Nice. Made it on the fourth one. I can't tell you how sad I am. Okay, so the chest opens, and there is a remarkable four thousand five hundred and fifty-five gold pieces in this chest. Whoa! And there's also an unusual canister of deadly poison that Ooh. should have popped when when the trap was sprung, but you managed to not pop it. So can I recover it using toxic? You, you do indeed have a poison grenade now. Oh, sweet. Of course, if you fall, then you have a death grenade. Is it like a gas grenade? Is that what it's, it is? It's a big, gas, big deal gas grenade, yes. Okay. Levi, would you like this? <laughs> no, thanks. No, we well, like don't. grenades. I, 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 I like the ones I understand. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. You're, you're, you're the poison guy. Wisdom, so Levi gets one XP. Yeah, really. Speaking of that, Lance, would you please make a magical saving throw? All saving throws are magical. Yeah, yeah. I love how he, he got goes a into natural eighteen. Okay. I love how he good. goes into like bedroom voice to say that, James. <laughs> All know. saving throws, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and then you get the face of, of the giants, and she says, "Okay, now I've got your numbers. The next one you will not save against." Tell me more. I'd like you to keep talking. You're so pretty. Talk to me. And and she does. You guys have cost me enough trouble. You're hurting my orcs now. That cannot be borne. Um, I will now take a bigger hand in your destruction. Why don't you join us instead? Can I see? So now that she's talking to him, what do I see for the outline or area? Okay. Give me a, a D12, my good friend. Uh, 11. You see the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> you really you really don't want to hurt her right now. In fact, you want to worship at her feet. So oh, I, dang she... I dangled that gem in front of Fever and said, remember what you're supposed to do for this gem. And you're in Worden as mine. Okay. That's a, okay, roll the 12-sided die. Three. She's, she says, I really want to serve this giantess. Why don't we go and join forces with her? That's a good idea. Why don't you uh... never get another gem in your life? <laughs> <laughs> she screams in pain and anguish. So uh, I, I asked the giantess if she would, uh, you know, we would let her serve us if she wanted to, to work for us. For the serve Doom you? Indeed. We are the mighty doom seekers. Yeah, okay. 12 sided die for you, buddy. I don't know if it's good, but I got an 11. You get on your hands and knees and you say, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> More in references to movies. I Jim, guess. is this considered sleep and charm? No, it's is considered, it illusion? It's a divine awe. Oh, divine awe? Yeah. Okay, magic resistance is good against divine awe. Is it really? Are you sure? I'm sure, sure, sure. Okay, then fail your magic resistance roll. 66, I guess I did. Hooray! Then you get on your knees and say, we're not worthy, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. Oh, crap. I stand in front of them and let them worship me. <laughs> they aren't <laughs> worshiping you, buddy. They're worshiping the giantess. In my mind, they are. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. So here we all are. Um, I, I say to Orlando, what are we going to do about this? Oh, no, I mean, I'm, nothing I got can can help this. I could hope. Oh, you guys can help. I, uh, I, 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 I rub my ring of wishes. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm listening. What kind of giant is their enemy? Storm, uh, storm giants. Storm giant. Okay. I wish to have the services of one storm giant, the most powerful storm giant storm giant in this world for one day. And in return, I will provide one service. Ooh, and a hush comes over the room. Nothing happens. So it's, it's Nothing happens yet. Used. It made its magic resistance roll is what it made. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but we wouldn't know that. Um, 
That's because I'm a nice DM and I tell you guys things because good old Nick wants to argue, even though he knows he can't argue for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> but, but I would I would like to ask this. Yeah, point of order, he says. He doesn't think that's arguing. Was, so this- was the offer appealing enough for the giant to show up? You have, you have no idea. Okay. Because I'm Prometheus. I have a legendary artifact of renown. Yeah, okay. You and didn't offer, ask your legendary offers. artifact to do anything. I know, but I, I have a lot of fame and notoriety. So yes, like, you do. Yes, you, you do. A giant, and you wanted an enemy assassinated. I'd be the guy you'd call. And here I am offering a service by a wish. Yeah, I know. So all I'm asking is for a giant to show up and make it. Her it didn't. Money. It didn't even get to him. Okay. Okay. He just shook it off. All right. Uh, and that what you know that isn't even his idea. He he that gets made before he can even think about it. I understand. All right, very good. Yeah, that magic so, existence. I hated when Gary invented it. He invented it so that we couldn't hurt his demons and devils. Is what he did. <laughs> makes good sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Things kind of slowed down after that. <laughs> Attacking demons. <laughs> I think it was because I killed my second Balrog. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna gather up uh, um, the uh, all the people who are currently worshiping at the floor. The and two. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I look to Prometheus and I say, uh, uh, "About how long do you want them to do this so you feel you get your correct adoration?" <laughs> it amuses me no longer. <laughs> there we go. I cast a spell magic. Thank you. I think that's gonna work. So may the light of Horus shine on you I, and free you. I from... think it. I think it only is. That's not an area effect spell. Uh, believe. It is. Yeah, hold on. Okay, tell me if it is or not. I thought it was just a a, a one piece spell. And hopefully, it pisses off she giant. Oh, it's going to irritate her tremendously. Thirty foot cube, Jim. Thirty foot cube. Okay, both of you are freed, but you you both know a longing for her, and you right. think the the next time you're in her presence, you're going to gladly get on your knees and hope she even looks at you. She'll get the pounding she deserves. That's for sure. <laughs> in this party, that means something totally different. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I whisper in Prometheus's ear. Check your chat. Check what? His check chat. Check, uh, it. Oh, check your chat. I, I whispered in his ear. Yeah. Okay. I understand. I want to make another wish. Oh, okay. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> then make a wish, kid. I wish to have the power of a storm giant bestowed on me. Mm. Mm. Roll percentile dice, please, my good man. 40. Oh. Six. Assuming it's system shock, you're probably fine. Yeah, he's probably fine if it was system shock, but it's not system shock. Uh-oh. I have to look it up now. Thank this you for is, making me work hard. This is where things get weird. <laughs> hey, yeah, as we, as we bring out real rules and weird is entertaining uh, yeah. I suppose what, I what suppose. is the chat saying about our dangerous actions uh, Lord Dalius is like uh, was was surprised uh, because he, he didn't realize we were doing the show a day early and uh, he was uh-huh. like huh Nick already getting sketchy huh <laughs> 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 he was uh, he was getting sketchy from the start um, yeah he was at least this, uh, hopefully this isn't weird as in like Vorpal in a bag of holding weird. And remember, uh, James, I'm asking for the powers of a storm giant. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. And what was the percentile roll? 46. <laughs> Ooh. Molly Three Fingers just subscribed. Thank you, Molly. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, Molly. you, Molly. That's very kind of you. Yeah, and see, you're five fingers in our book. Wish happens. People subscribe, James. So right. good thing. I know. It's wonderful. And, good thing uh, it happened. Lord Dalius just subscribed, uh, but uh, we should also oh, keep him Thank you, Lord Dalius. It's, it's as if people are enjoying this show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Captain Kilgosha, 67 Indian, uh, they uh, dropped um, – Subscriptions into the chat a little bit earlier, so much thank you to them as well. Oh, oh that's I know this kind. Is, this is worth it to watch James thumb through the rules. I know, I know. Like I some, hate doing this. Terry Gygax never did this ever. All right. He never did this one. I mean, never, I've I've broken the game. He never looked up anything until the end uh, when he wanted experience and and what the magic items did. Oh, in other words, he had it all memorized. He did oh. have. Well, he should have. He wrote it like three right. times. Yeah. So yeah. 
Captain okay, Kilgore so here we are. What do you want to do now that you have the powers the of a storm giant? Tell us the story, James, about the one time a player accused Jerry of, Gary of cheating. Oh, <laughs> that's not a nice story. It really made Gary mad. <laughs> he was at a Gen Con convention and he was, he was running this game just like he always does. And this poor guy got got attacked three times by different kinds of wizards. And he, he went to Gary and he said, Gary, you're doing this on purpose just to get me. And, and Gary says, that's not the way this thing works. And so he explained to him very carefully how you roll randomly, you get what you get. Now, he never told him that Gary didn't follow his dice rolls at all. He was all about the story. So if it improved the story, he ignored hits. He ignored hits that didn't hit. He ignored magic um, just to make the story more fun. But yeah, this guy said Gary was cheating on the dice and Gary got very wroth with him. <laughs> and the guy didn't do very well a couple minutes later. When yeah, he, shocking. <laughs> yeah, when he got attacked by big stuff. So, what do you, you want to do? Anything as this storm giant right now? Uh, I sure do. What do you want to do? I'm on pins and needles. I can only barely think of what I might want to do. I guess I'd want to know where a cloud giant is. What makes you think that a storm giant could identify that? Uh, type word in a type. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And and Andrew, you are not you are allowed not to look at a rule book in the next twenty two minutes. I'm I'm not touching a book. Okay, very okay. good. I don't have many books in this room at the moment. He's All just right. he's just touching the keys. And... Yeah, but I'm, yeah, so... I'm asking I'm asking in the wizard. I am I now as the power of the storm giant. How can I use that to find a cloud giant? So you can do two things that will provide power because uh, the magic of the storm giant is penultimate. Therefore, you can divine the nature of giants within proximity, and it is a lesser giant to you, therefore it can be uh, equated. So the first thing you want to do is to note its proximity to us. Yes. Um, and then uh, we need to know if it's a lesser or greater. Okay. Things. Is that um, what you're doing? <laughs> yes. Okay, roll percentile dice for me, my friend. Okay. 83. Oh, my darling wife just brought me a delicious drink from when she came home from work. She's just such a wonder. And that and anyway, that, that marvelous good. roll tells you that there are um, 51 giants in the area. 51. He but, should be able to discern the one he's looking for, though. But his, I'm his looking for Ia the Cloud Giant. Yeah, you see oh. her. She is. Let me see. Well, you guys are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's 11 miles away. Relaying to Verdna. Got it. Hold on. Um, my distance. Actually, God, you're a better spell cat. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I am going to say, good sir, Prometheus Giant. Uh, now he's that, not a giant. He's, he's the same height. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. He's the power of the storm giant. So I'm going to say, have a look at this. And I'm going to uh, show him in my spell book a specific spell um, so that he, now, uh, as the giant, uh, with the powers and properties of it, his displacement works like the giant. So he uses giant magic versus human magic. Correct? I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. So uh, at his height, which is gigantic, and the highest of the gigantic, I would argue that it's semi-logarithmic or logarithmic in, in the durational difference of extension. You can argue that all you like, yes. Is, is that a reasonable assumption, one or the other? Uh, what what are we treating as logarithmic? Uh, I was going to say uh, log. I don't something. even know what logarithmic means. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. You've made the wish. <laughs> So the argument that either Michael or I could make would be that if, if the uh, spell order of magnitude for giants is X higher and a storm giant is the top of that X, once we solve for that function, it is some proportionate, proportionate number. Uh, so if a hill giant is a 19 strength, a storm giant is a 24 strength, their ability for lifting and moving transport, he could transport us all to that location under his area of effect protection pretty simply. 
Okay, but how does he have a teleport spell? Because, like I said, I'm going to show him my book, and now uh, he has well, as, I, a storm, as a storm okay. he has so his, his he, spell slots. He reaches out to take the book. I'm not having him take the book. I'm going to have him read one of my scrolls. I just want to okay. make sure that he can read spells. He he doesn't seem to be able to read the spell. He does not. No. Oh, hold on. So he's the illiterate storm giant. <laughs> I can. I can. Um, I can read. I can read. High enough level to read scrolls now. And I can read as languages. I can sure. read languages at 40%. So is, you, yeah, yeah, you can read languages for sure. Oh, you're going to use your thief. I'm worried. You're going to use your thief abilities to right. read this, the magic of the scroll. So his, his level 65 one. So uh, he is uh, 72%. Uh, what's okay. your intelligence? Uh, my intelligence is uh, a 12. My oh, I was gonna say Everybody stand back. So he should have a 72% chance to be able to translate that spell. Roll them bones, buddy. Would you accept a 35? You can teleport somewhere. Okay, so so we can go to her. The other thing he could Why do, do you think we can go to her? Uh, because now that he can, uh, I assume, see her based on knowing her, he can uh, command air and move us, can't okay. he? Okay, he, he, he sees her, he knows what she looks like. He can't teleport that way. Teleport. He doesn't have a point to teleport to. You're saying there's no, well, he could choose unfamiliar destination and that could move us either higher or lower. Or it could kill you all. You know, that's the lower part. Okay. <laughs> if that's what you want to try. She's made I'll... a threat. She's made a threat. Yeah, yeah. That she is going to do us in. Two of uh -huh, our partners uh -huh. are now in her thrall. She's getting. Yes, yes, absolutely. Threat. So when they get teleported, guess what they're going to do? Well, we're, we, we can easily put a blindfold on them so they don't know what they're doing other than if they're doing blind uh, fighting, they could actually go ahead and attack. So with, what, what with I, would like, I would like you to think about this, Michael, my good friend, out of the game. Um, you, you know this glorious woman who's shapely and extremely attractive, and you're really very fond of her. So when you get the chance to get in her presence, you aren't going to want to stay blindfolded. No, but we, we aren't necessarily going to share some of these details with some of the people who are <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so we'll see what happens if uh, if Nick teleports you all, but there's no spot yet to teleport to. Um, as a storm giant, he can uh, command weather. Uh, I'm with you, yes. And so, his, can, so can she. But, you know, Storm Giant trumps Cloud Giant, so his, <laughs> his call lightning is uh, 25 so he can do humongous amounts of damage. To yes, him. he can, yeah. Um, so we could start by, actually, he can communicate with her. Can he talk to her? Can nope, he not yet. He cannot. No. Um... I will take out my scrying ball. Okay. Uh, and hold it with him. Okay, okay, um, yes, yes. I am going to cast Mass Mind so that my interest in her glamour goes away uh, and she no longer has control over me for the charm. Uh, why, why would Divine Awe go away because of Mass Mind? Uh, because uh, uh, things that are not my normal state are no longer in effect. And my normal state does not include uh, awe. Uh, I have a 20 uh, intelligence. I'm pretty smart. I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I hate doing this. You're making me consult the rules twice. You're a fiend from the heck. <laughs> that sounds about right. Can't believe I have to do this again. Mass mind. I don't <laughs> think. It, I don't think that's gonna work like that. But right. I'll check it out just because I like Andrew. I just want to get in front of this this giantess and just dump a whole bunch of spells and <laughs> See? bullets. Okay, I, I'm not letting you get rid of Divine Awe. You're not? Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, and is that you and Levi, Levi that have Divine Awe, or is that you and John? 
I don't have it. Oh, it's it's me and Lance, and Lance shouldn't because he's ninety percent resistant to anything that tries to dominate his will as a cavalier. I know he's not trying to dominate his will. She's not trying to dominate his will. What about if I cast uh, my remove curse? Uh, nope, nope, that won't work. Not no. with divine awe. Okay. It's a god thing, so you need a holy thing to break this. Yeah, yeah the clerics remove curse. Nope, won't work. So what I powers and abilities are at my disposal as a storm giant? Okay, I can start reading if you wish. Yeah, I think the audience would enjoy that. Yeah, I don't think they would, but... Uh, I'd like to spoil you, that. This is a pretty uh, exciting moment, James. Uh, I, mean, okay. I mean, if the cloud giant is able to instill divine awe, why shouldn't the storm giant be able to remove it? You know, if there were if there were females in your group, they would be exposed to the divine awe of Krom. So this is a pheromone thing. Yes, which would please him no end. Okay, so with your fist, you have a um, one to there ten. Is, there is my my shield maiden. Okay, and do you want her to be totally paralyzed in lust for you, and um, be useless as a shield maiden? Jim, <laughs> <laughs> um, what anyways, are the downsides so, to that? Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. what what can I do? Okay. Well, why, oh, but but she okay. So does she have awareness of giant kind like I do? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, I'm gonna divine awe her. She's seeing me. I'm, and I know she exists. Okay, she's useless to you when he when she's divine awed. She no. gets on her knees and she starts praising your body. The female storm giant. The female no, she's not going to get divine giant. on by you. No, no, no. Uh, my, no, here, here's what you can do. Uh, you can use uh, my scroll of anti-magic, okay. uh, anti-magic shell, and once we go through that, that breaks divine awe. Why do you say it breaks divine awe? It's a holy thing. Why, was, why would your um, magic use it's a spell? A magical, it's a magical function, and once in the center of an uh, uh, anti-magic shell, no uh, function... That's magical in nature works. Yeah, okay. I, I'm sorry, but I do not believe divine awe, which I designed, is mm -hmm. a magical function. It's a holy function. Uh, and you're, well, But magic, uh, anti-magic show works against holy spells. It really does, yes, but not really against does. divine so awe. No difference. So well, hold, hold on real quick. Like, holy... And by the way, that's your last argument today, Andrew. <laughs> 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 So it's holy as into the religion of giants? No, it's just holy. It's holy to anybody's religion because all religions experience divine awe. Okay, but he's a man of science and the monk is a man of... Uh... Yeah, no, 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 no. So, they, so they, what, the, what they're worshiping is different from their, their so scientific bent. It does speak to... Right, and I agree. I, so if this is my last argument, I'll make it. <laughs> um, it speaks to the idea that uh, against... Things that are conjured other than magically, so right, div divinely, uh, on their plane, that would be true. It would not work. But on our plane, the prime material plane, which is not the indigenous plane of the cloud giant, if it's divine, then it would not work. So, for example, an avatar working on its home plane in the manual planes would fit that criterion, but those conditions would not exist on the prime material plane. So anti-magic show would follow according to the logic that you present. Okay, buddy, I'm afraid I don't agree with you. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. And by the way, Nick, you get 5,000 experience points for doing the, the two argument a game rule. Okay. So uh, I, I, I do have a question. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait, I believe you used up all of your questions, my good friend. Well, it's a, it's a, game, it's a gameplay question more than anything else. It's not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not arguing. He's um, trying to get around the rule there, Nick. No, not it's really. Okay. Uh, what, what, but the court, the court shall allow, but you proceed, <laughs> proceed cautiously. <laughs> uh, the, uh, doesn't divine magic need to be, it isn't created? divine magic. It isn't or, divine magic or, well, all right. So, so, but divine awe is only created by a deity or an artifact. No, correct? no, not at all. Not at all. It's a, it's a function, but normally it's a function that has some derivative and Jim is arguing. If doesn't if happen. it's a, yeah he this this creature is a large being a very large being and it's it's hard not as large it, as me no you're not big buddy you're just powerful no i know that's what i mean i'm more powerful than she is yeah okay but you're not larger so you didn't change your size i know i i don't okay. need to but i'm just right. saying very good okay so to go on um 
that you look at her and you worship her. You find her awesome, divine awe, and it slows you down. It, it depends on how bad it is. But uh, the two, when they get in her presence, are going to fall on their knees. And then when you guys start fighting her, they're going to stand up and try to kill you all. Okay. So what powers and abilities do I have as a storm giant? Okay. I keep trying to tell you that, but I keep getting interrupted. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So just with your fist, you hit for one to 10. Okay. When you use fever, you hit for 30 plus 12 on damage. Right. He also adds the, the uh, storm giant strength damage bonus too, correct? Plus 14. Yes, he does. Yes. Plus 14. And impervious to electricity. And what's next here? Oh, look at that. You inspire for fanatic morale. Oh, wait. Now, hang on. Yes. Doesn't that cancel divine awe? No, but it cancels fear. Okay. Okay, continue on. You are now worth... <laughs> 30 thirty thousand experience points dead Ooh. so you're everybody should kill you because you're worth so many points <laughs> and the chit -chat. yeah really is there any other yeah through the chat is probably all for it okay now you're making me really work but that's okay i can really work okay where is it i'm hiding it somewhere oh come on can't find it doesn't matter uh uh anything else here um you have a thaco of three okay do i have powers or abilities uh you no longer have multiple attacks you only have one attack okay i asked just for that would these would oh, be oh look at that things. you have you have 19 hit dice plus seven points per die well wouldn't these be the physical attributes i just asked for the abilities well i i think it's the same thing myself so you're now a storm giant in a little tiny package. Yes, exactly. Well, you it's are. Just, it's the spellcasting abilities that you care about. Those are the things that are. Powerful. And look at that. You're minus six on your armor class. Okay. And spellcasting abilities. Yes, that would be interesting. There's ecology. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All the things like predict weather, call. Well, weather. yeah, he's got a bunch of spells listed in the monster manual. You, you, can, tons of stuff. you can you can look them up yourself because there's a lot of them. Okay. And you cast those once a day. Okay. So I know that God. I would like to cast you. all of them on her. <laughs> you gotta be within. <laughs> you gotta be within 250 yards of her. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, is there uh, anything that I have that protects us from her spells? Not a thing. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that does it. Andrew, what's a sun sphere do? Um, it's primarily valuable against undead. Okay, it's a light thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next time she reaches out and tries to get you guys, um, then you could try to do something to her, Nick. Okay. I'm going to drink. Uh, we know praying to the gods does nothing for you, but I'm going to drink some of my holy water. That does nothing for you? Yeah. It quenches oh, his thirst. Right, right. <laughs> it, uh, it actually tastes kind of dusty. You, uh, <laughs> you really don't like the taste at all. Builds character. Um, Puts hair in your chest. Jim, I'm going to uh, here it comes. Look at the um, contact other planes scroll. Yes, and uh, I am going to whisper to the keeper of secrets and say, uh, "Will Tower of Iron will prevent divine succor, or what forsooth could remove such?" Roll a six set of die. Don't roll a six. Whatever you do. Asking my deity what he thinks. Four. The answer is no. So, is that yes or no question? My question work. It, it doesn't prevent it from happening. Okay. And then the second part was what does? That's fair. Divine awe. Only the divine awe of another being 
stops the divine awe of the first being. So why so why is is divine awe always gender based? Well, I have a gender based right now. I I think you guys could be exposed to Nick's divine awe if you wanted to be. You have to want to be, but then you're kind of slavishly serving him. You really don't have a will of your own. Right. So my, my question would be is if he turns that on, doesn't it cancel what she had and overcomes it? And then he cancels his and we're all he, clear. OK, there's no canceling of anything. If he does it, then you're all slaves to Nick. So hammer. I'm a benevolent master. <laughs> <laughs> so, dragons, dragons have the same ability. Yes, they do. Um, so I can have because Hammerath works for me. Uh, under the thing, I can have him, I assume, break that charm. He wouldn't break yours. He might break the others. But then, again, they become slave. They wouldn't let him go back to his uh, uh, figurine of wondrous power form. It's automatic. It just reverts. Yeah, runs. I know. They would say, no, don't go, Master. And he'd be inclined to listen to them because they worship him now. And then I don't know if they're going to worship. We have to roll for that, too. All right. So while we're waiting for uh, <laughs> Lady Lady uh, Giant Balls to uh, get uh, in contact again, uh, uh -huh. should we go through one of these doors? Well, we're kind of stuck at this point because Lance and I are somehow non-functional under these new predicates. I didn't say you were non-functional. You're only non-functional in in her right. presence. <laughs> right. So, like here, here's here's what we can do. It, it seems that we could move into her space. And attack. The problem is, is that you guys are under her thrall right now. Right. According to right those rules, that is true. So we're not. My best move is to transport home uh, until I figure out a resistance. So getting in that kind of fight adds too many variables that are beyond my control. Could you smoke her now, though, if we were in her presence? Could you hurt her? Could you damage? Oh her? yeah, absolutely. No, but you couldn't, young man, because you love her. Yes, but what if I just go ahead and turn on Divine On now? Okay, right. well, and direct him to do it, and then we'll we'll roll dice and see if they become Divine Odd to you. Yes. Okay, and we'll see what happens. But you know that has its own problems. Well, so the question, James, is if you're under, like, let's say, if Prometheus does the Divine Awe, can he direct people who are affected by Divine Awe to do their his bidding, like attack the Cloud Giant or something like that. Yes, ab absolutely. How, you, you can figure out how to get out of my Divine Awe. Which is easier. Or le uh, less troublesome. So where my problem is, I don't think yours will work on me. Why? We have, have to, we have to roll dice and it's big minuses for the two right. guys that I, love her. I have, a, I have a resistance to Prometheus. So. And that's Lance and Andrew, right? Uh, yes, correct. Okay, John, my good friend, it's time to roll a magic save. I love magic saves. I love them too. Easily. Okay, very good. You see your face again. Now roll a 12-sided die, buddy. Whatever you do, don't roll above a 10. Wait a minute, it doesn't, doesn't our giant... Uh... Yeah, the giant should be able to blast her now. In, in just a second, let me finish this action. Simultaneous, simultaneous. Eight. You got an eight, okay, so you're not divine odd. Now, what would our giant like to do? Hey, Mr. Maximo, thanks for raiding us. What does that mean? Uh, he's broadcasting to his watchers. Oh, thank you very much, whoever you are. Can I make her divine on me? No. Then I'll hit her with a lightning bolt. Okay. Ooh, lightning big for one. you right now is like... Giant yeah, you do, you do a really good lightning bolts. Okay, it washes off her body and she vanishes from sight. That's anticlimactic. It is. Well, you know, they get resistances. They get lots of things. Their saving throws are wonderful. They do. So here we all are. <laughs> we were about to divine all people and see what we're yeah doing. right i don't know that that's going to be a benefit for me or lance well right. I, I, if we so were if, in the I pull, if i pull out the uh the dagger to uh from from odin the god that i worship would that inspire faith in me and my uh my religious convictions you mean the little rainbow dagger yeah 
We don't judge on size. And rem- <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. Hey, very uh, good, Jr. Very funny. Um, no, that won't help you at all. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> Ask his father-in-law for help. Uh, no, but but that was the exact answer. Uh, I, Lance, I can fix this. Woo-hoo. Uh, I am going to. How do I do this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I am going to uh, open Sesame, my dimension door, uh, to my black unicorn. Uh, and because touching its horn removes any effect, any curse, any geas, any uh, open charm, or any function of any kind, that will break the chain. For what both. a great idea. So you open the dimension door, and a giantess steps out. She hugs you in a hug and vanishes. Oh, bye, everybody. And <laughs> Wurdna, Wurdna is now gone. That's not good. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Sorry. Wasn't, but... wasn't there a magic resistance or something to that? No, uh, no. No resistance to a hug, buddy. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like what Care Bears do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. So do we get an attack on her when she's... Uh... It all happened too quickly in the blink of an eye. Yeah. It's like she was hasted. Oh. I do have a crossbow of speed ready. Uh, you know, Knight of Farsu says Black Unicorn is a metal band missing their mascot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dron, would you like to shoot because you might hit our good friend Andrew? Uh, maybe it'll wake him up. Uh, maybe. And actually, if you do shoot Andrew, Wordna will not come back. So I'm just, I'm just saying how it's going to work. So <laughs> Wordna doesn't get to show up as often because I'm dead. But, but I love the idea. Well, hold on. As a storm giant, I have advan- I have perception, like advanced perception. So no. could I have not sense that? No, about to- no, no, you don't. No, that you're talking about precognition. It's yes. not precogen, but it is. Uh... You couldn't sense it that that uh, word now opened the gate, and the giantess walked through. Yeah, he didn't expect enough. that, but she was she was waiting for this just that type of spell. Oh. She was hoping for a dimension door and teleport, but that didn't happen. So she couldn't get all of you. But she well, I, didn't grab, grab, I, have, I didn't grab her. Yeah. yeah, she could get word now. Thank goodness. And now, now I, she I have, has a new slave. I have predict. Yeah, okay, you got to activate it, buddy. You didn't activate it. Well, I'm just learning, but... Uh... <laughs> That's right. You're just learning. Very good. I couldn't have put that better myself. I'm just learning. Okay. She takes four points from the uh, from the bolt. Okay. I have to... Oh, you hit her for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I got a 20. Okay. All right. Very good. She takes four points and disappears. Nice. Thanks, brother. Stick it to the woman. <laughs> well, okay. I think she's going to be even more irritated now. All right, so... Who has the Ring of Life? Uh, what about it? The dwarf has the Ring of Life. Thank you very much. Is that how the, the rolls came out? Damn, That's so how the rolls came, came out, mm-hmm. buddy. And he's not here. Okay, never mind. He's so did, waiting she, at the castle. She said that she was going to kill us. Oh, yeah, she plans oh, on killing you all. But she's going to make him a slave. She's probably going to use him to kill you all. And then kill him. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I would do if I was her. Oh, I'm just uh, writing my will. <laughs> um, so we have the hold on. We have the ring of life. We have no, the grenade. No, no, you don't have the, the ring of life. The party has it. We don't have it on us, but we right. can get it. Okay. She wants me. Give me all the grenades set to go off, and I will go give her a hug. No, wow. you won't. You no, you fuckers? won't. No, you won't, because you love her. You adore her. You want to. And I hug the people I love. No, no, no. You want to kiss her and worship her at her feet. So I can teleport into her presence, right? No, nope, you don't know where she is. No, I do know. Remember, I, I no, you, you know where her body is, but that that isn't a point you can teleport to. Okay. You can teleport to a body. But so he's he is now as smart as a storm giant. Okay. And, okay. Uh, if she was waiting for my dimension door, the spell still has to work. Didn't you know, didn't you use up all your arguments, my good friend? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Peanut Gallery, you've become a member of the Peanut Gallery. <laughs> Put on Girl from Ipanema. Bah, 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 bah. You, you need to spend bitcoins now to talk. <laughs> okay. I would like to talk. Better. 
or use a chat window. I would like to talk with Fever, who has a wisdom gem and can advise me. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, knowing my intelligence now and knowing you know the inside of my head, which is a yeah, storm yeah. giant, mm-hmm. you know yeah. all my awareness and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. How, how can I snatch word in the back? You can't. What if I use my third wish? That would snag him back. Then I, Boom. Would, do, I would do that. Okay. Now, Fever will tell you the giantess can resist that wish. Wordna can resist that wish. And, and Wordna has magic yeah. resistance and magical resistance. So that's three rolls to resist that wish. And that's your last wish. Can I use my, my knowing... Knowing Fever's wisdom and her ability to know things, can I teleport us into his presence? No. And she has a mental link with him. Yeah, and again, see, you need an area to teleport to, not a body. Because the body resists. The body says, she no. She can see through his eyes because they have mental link. Yeah, okay. No. Okay. Fever and I have a friendship now so yeah, yeah great fever's 11 miles away that link is not that good it's across planes I... and actually oh my goodness you know what a uh, fever knows that that word is much more than 11 miles away he seems to be a hundred or several hundred miles away and moving further away and doesn't fever now have isn't word effectively a low jack for this cloud giant so Fever should be able to direct us exactly, right? So, so wherever Wordna is, Fever should be able to point us in that direction. And Prometheus, he can definitely point us in that direction. Um, uh, and speaking of that, I'm really glad you brought that up. Um, Prometheus, would you please make a magic save for your sword? Okay, I make it. Okay, and it's it's like almost pulled out of your hand. Uh, My fire giant, my my storm giant hand. Yes. His 24 strength storm giant hand? Yeah, well, he didn't expect the sword to get pulled. Now he's gripping it. All right, so... That that wasn't an argument, was it, Andrew? I'm not arguing anything. Okay, very good. Who are you at? (laughs) If Fever knows where uh, Wardna is, he should be able to teleport to Wardna. Okay. No, no. I, again, you can't teleport to a body because the body resists. Let's just recap the situation real quick. Yes, quickly. very good. We are on the second level of the second tower. Yes. Okay. Our our magic user, wizard, yes. has been snatched. And since I'm a cloud giant and understand spells and everything like that, by what means? Um, He opened the dimension door. Okay, and the giant stepped through and took The it. giant stepped through, took him, and stepped back through the door and closed it because mm-hmm. she was hasted. That's how quick it was. How, how was she able to cast Divine Awe on my two people? You mean on Wurdna and, and Lance? Yes. Or they, they, they saw her. She tried to teleport them away. Right. And they resisted the teleport, and, and they looked at her, and the Divine Awe took effect. Okay. And how did she know their location? You don't know. Okay. Was Wordna's stuff left behind? No, all that stuff went with him. Okay. Um, Which is making the giant is very happy right now as she unloads a ton of stuff from his body. Body? Yeah. Actually, most of his possessions aren't currently on him. Dang it. I'll have to have a list there, Andrew. Yep, you've got it. I'll show you how to look at it. Okay. Uh, could you wish to know her location and then we would have a location to teleport to? I would ask Fever for wisdom on that advice. Do you even have teleport, buddy? Uh, Storm Giant does. I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's got the scroll I gave him of teleport. Uh, I can actually give a list of the spells on that scroll if that's helpful. Here we go. Okay, that teleport will only work for one person. No, no, that was my earlier. That was argument one regarding the log numbers for how much displacement he could take. Oh, okay. Hours of a storm giant. He can teleport somewhere 
north of about 30,000 pounds of weight. Gotcha. All right. That sounds good. But Werdner is no longer with the giantess. No, but the... Sounds uh, like a typical Werdner relationship. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we need to pull Werdner back. So. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I think that's a perfect place to stop. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. We uh, thank you all for a wonderful adventure. You guys did really good. I'm very impressed with you all. Poor Wordna is in a horrible storm. And next Friday, Andrew will be the referee, and we'll all try to save Wordna. There is your list, Chromatheus. Those are your spells. That you oh, can that are on that. Okay. All right. Correct. Yes, the uh, title is uh, Where's Wordna? <laughs> in the Tower of Ascension. Ah, there we go. He's in, a, he's in a tower. He obviously got sold without any of his stuff. Doggone it. Poor guy. It's funny, too, because KTF Fiend from the chat just said, you know, I'm proud to say that I have finally realized that Wordna is Andrew Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you would be amazed at how many people tell me I finally realized that Dromage is Jim Warren backwards <laughs> it always astounds me alright take us out Walt hey uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say because you know we have all these guns and all these powers and <laughs> we're like shooting into the air but uh, <laughs> uh, what didn't shoot into the air is all the love that came out of the chat today you guys were awesome just absolutely throwing it down, and we appreciate it. And thanks for coming out and hanging out with us for an afternoon where sci-fi writers were playing old-school D&D, giving us a break from blasters and bombs where we get swords and shields and shield maidens and giants that hate us. Shield uh, maidens. We really need better. You just said that like you were Homer Simpson looking at donuts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Are you doing After Dark? Um, uh, on, on New Year's Eve, have fun by yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that yeah, might exactly. get me divorced. Uh, yeah, it might. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we might I'll be... do it with you, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Ball drop has a different meaning tonight. JR. Right on. So uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you next time on Sci-Fi Writers playing old school D and D. Thanks, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New All Year. All right. Now.